crap, he has a bad motivator. The shot blasts a new orifice in the side of the junk freighter. <laughs> Unfortunately, your inadequately protected ship is struck and subsequently destroyed in the bottleneck of metallic objects driving to pass through the same relatively small opening. We'll detach a ship from our fleet right now to join you. We're going to have such an adventure! See you later, best friends. Why does it do tricks? Gristle is still alive after all this. Oh man, he's got that whole walking through the explosion thing down. Sam, another memory pop? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samland on the Hyperion to investigate further. getting there. Two thirds. Bobby, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there's more than one of them. <laughs> I think he, one of them just took a flying leap off that tower. <laughs> single silver coin carefully polish it and place it in your pouch what a way to make a oh what's going on that's not how you barbecue Not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Look over there, and you won't drive down. Ah! ah. Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh, I hate it. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. From the Rakata, then you are a spy and must be killed. Do spies normally announce themselves? Oh, this is fun. So lucky.
these poor dinosaurs they're being sniped at from all sides construct and interact with a castle part expand your territory by placing borders oh my god I've been running around this whole place and this is all that I've seen That's a freaking fight or flight. Sometimes the best strategy is to run away. I got news for you, game. I'm on a motorcycle. But the, whoa! I was on a motorcycle. Never mind. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to. Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with! I was a bit preoccupied. Oh! Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow! Excuse me, do you mind if I uh, poke around in your car a little? You do? Oh, hello. Wasn't talking to you, buddy. Ow. Ah. You jerk. certainly looks like it's being held by rebel scum. World of Wonders. We did it, guys. We made it to WoW in the 80s. What are you doing in my house? My house. Harold is beating me for Suzerain of Laventa. Irritating. Yeah, you know, I'll work on Stockholm. He can have Laventa. I love the really close up view. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. USS Lavatora. First level. She's got substitute targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. 
I don't think I've ever had this happen before. Hell game. Uh oh. Uh oh, that is. I'm just gonna leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> I still say, though, that the Dark Souls games and Elden Ring and all them, this is the difficulty that they aspire to reach, but haven't yet. This flight sucks. And maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... Oh. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Please, somebody clip that. Holy! Please. Yes, please uh. clip that. Oh my god! Maybe if I run real fast, we can just clear right through there. Okay. You talk to Enoriel I Eight Eyes. She is the representative of the Pathfinder Society and can organize custom mercenaries for you to, to fill any role in the party you might happen to want that the main characters in the game do not fulfill. So you can create any custom character you care to uh, try out. How are you not dead? Excuse me. Oh yeah, this is good. Guard, guard, arrest this man immediately. But I, I'm still kind of tempted to play them. Okay. Sorry, Edgar. <laughs> they called them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that.
you go. We'll open the portal on your mark. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out fast. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how This is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. Hey! Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight we're going to play Skyrim because, well, I want to and it's been a bit. How's everybody doing? It's good to see you all. Vera Johnson, what's going on? Uh, let me see. No, no, Vera Johnson, the bot's okay. The bot's fine, I promise. Prob, it's good to see you. Aaron Lore, enjoy your lurk. Callan Ray, how's things going? It's wonderful to have you all here. Also, um, hang on. I promised that crowd control was actually enabled and I lied through my teeth, but I will make it true in just one half a moment here. We don't want city skylines, Skyrim special edition, there we go, okay. Session started. There we are. How's everyone doing? It's good to see you. Hey, Super Bowser, it's good to have you back again. What's going on? Hope everyone's had a fantastic day so far. Fantastic evening. I have new tranquilizers, so you were sleeping again. That's awesome, Kellenry. Congratulations. I know well the troubles of insomnia. I, I have gone through bouts that are pretty bad at times over the course of my life, so I'm glad that you're able to get some rest. Let's get the game going. I already have it loaded. Uh, the oh Jesus! Okay, hang on, camera. There, all right. Okay, camera's working. Game is working. I think we're set. So how is everyone? Insomnia, yeah, insomnia sucks. Insomnia is terrible. Okay, so where are we? We're in a dwarven ruin. Crowd control is running. The oculari. Okay, so, oh god, right. I remember now. We left off inside Mazolft. That's fun. How's the volume level, guys? Uh, let me run around a little bit. I'm going to plink an arrow over here. How does everything sound relative to my voice? Too soft, too loud. Intervals were creeping up to 24, then 48, then 72 hours at a time. So Doc was like, let's knock you out. Yeah. Yeah, 72 hours. I, I've gone a week before. It was not fun. That was many, 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 many years ago, thankfully. I haven't had it happen again for quite some time. I don't recommend it. Hey, Anstara, what's going on? So how are we sounding with the whole volume? Oh, I see you guys have been busy again. We're going to have to clear out this entire ruin at some point. Voice is louder than the game. Excellent, Super Bowser. It is supposed to be. Is it hugely louder than the game, or is it just a bit louder? Because it's only supposed to be a bit louder. I don't want to drown out the actual game. You can't hear the game. Okay. 
that's a bit of oh <laughs> that would be why it was uh it was muted try this how's that See, the nice thing about the new audio setup is I no longer have to worry about things like, well, is this a game that cuts the audio when I'm not playing it? Because it doesn't matter what the game is, I can mute it separately. I can always mute it. So I, that, that, in that respect, it's made my life a lot easier. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, but on the other hand, it means that I've got a lot more audio controls that I have to worry about going... Uh, Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the poison. And for the toe-stepping. Much better? Excellent. Okay. Uh, Alright. So, where did we leave off in Mazolft? I don't think we had gotten as far as the oculatory thingy. The oculory, they call it. So, I guess we need to go that away. I don't remember why we stopped here, except maybe it was really late or something. Okay, oh, uh, maybe I didn't have the key, but I do now, so... Looks like we're good. Hello? G Gavros! Is that you? I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. What the? What are you doing here? Your friend you Gavros is Gavros? dead. It was the Falmer, wasn't it? Curse them! They've ruined everything. If Gavros is gone, there is no hope. He was supposed to return with the crystal. Without that, all our efforts are wasted. And you, if you're here for treasure or wisdom or anything, I'm afraid you've wasted your time. What's this about a crystal? Yeah, this place on Star. This is actually my favorite dwarven ruin because I've cleared it out so many times before. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. I happen to have found a focusing crystal. Is this what you were looking for? You found... How in the world? I'm just that That's good. It. That's it! I don't know who you are, but you may have just saved this little project. In fact, who are you anyway? I'm with the College of Winterhold. You are, are you? Savos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you. But now you come here expecting something from me? Did I say I, I expected like anything? But you saved my skin, so maybe I could overlook the past for now. Come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter what Gavro said, this was my idea first. The Council is going to know that when I get back. I was the one who thought about this, this ocular. I don't know what the dwarves are. I guess we'll go that way later. From all our research, it seems they will... Tent on this. Learning the nature of the divine. This machine, all of it, was designed this? to collect starlight. And then, I'm not sure. Back. Shambles. Jeez, guys. Oh God. No loot? Let's just hope they got it right this time. Have fun with the dog you spawned. That was quite some dog. Man, my guys killed it so fast I didn't even have a chance to get a shot in on it. That wasn't him? Really, Prob? Because this is a heavily modded version of Skyrim, it's very possible that that was what spawned, regardless of what you said it should is. spawn. Magnificent, isn't it? Took an incredible amount of work to get it 
Oh, that, okay. So you spawned both of them then. That's okay. I need all the books. Frostbite. Flames. Dwarven history and culture. I hope you're not relying on these books staying there. Back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I need the specific spells. I need flames. Do I have them already? Yes, I do. Oh, but, uh, okay. Let me see. What do I have on one? Elemental bolt. Let's make that flames. And healing is two. We need that to be frost. I must have frost here. I don't have frost there. What the heck? Where's destruction? There we go. Uh, frostbite. Wrong. Um. Thanks, guys. <laughs> place the oh, place the crystal into the uh, yeah, guys. Can you um? Hi there. Uh, yeah. Hi. Mizolt is fun, had to make it more fun. I appreciate it. Can't have too much fun in Mizolt. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> nope, that's wrong. That could be correct, actually. Let's try that one. Sorry. You should be, Vilya. How dare. Oh, I'm sorry. You should be. Okay. Um. Why are you looking at me like that? You're kind of in the way. Of all the Bretons I have met, you are the nicest. Of all the whatever the hex you are that I've met, you certainly are one. Hey, you bring light in. How's it going? It's good to see you.
There we go. Finally going to pay. What's this? These results. They're not at all what they should be. This projection should be lit up like the night sky. Well, isn't Something this? Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. Something in winter looks like. What are you playing at? Is this some attempt to stall my work? So what is it? What have you done? Did you know what we were attempting? Are you here to make sure your plan worked? That our efforts have been for nothing? Well, explain yourself. Did something go wrong? Go wrong? Go wrong? Everything is wrong. Everything. Whatever you have at that college has completely interfered with our work here. How did you do it? I don't understand why you're so upset. Just look. This should be lit up brighter than the night sky. And it's not. Clearly you interfered somehow. Or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful. Beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? You mean the Eye of Magnus? The Eye of Magnus? Well, I suppose if that means what I oh, think it shoot. does. Well, that's interesting. Sorry guys, ads are in progress. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. For a dire. That's what I wanted. There's something in there. Something horrible. Well. Can we go now, please? Oh, crap. Uthgird. You made it mad at me. Oh, <laughs> So that was the Delamain quest. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I should have gone back and looted. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're kidding me! The Trian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? so their marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Damn, you need to tell James that one. Oh, hey, my what God. Hey, the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> oh, my God, I've never seen that before. That's amazing. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize the ads were so close to starting. We'll attempt this conversation again. You mean the Eye of Magnus, don't you? The Eye of Magnus? Thank you. Well, I suppose if that means what I think it does, well, that's interesting. Can you help me find the Staff of Magnus or not? Yes, the Staff. Interesting. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. You'd be surprised. Curiosity. It was the inspiration for this idea. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical energy. Do you need to help see the Of course. Of course. And yet, in the end, only two locations have <clears throat> the other, well, that can only be 
labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold, despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies, I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. So fine, trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over, I assure you. Wouldn't dream of thinking it is. So the staff of Magnus is in Labyrinthian. I think you've been in here too long. You're crazy. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. Your trickery won't confuse me. I think we're done here. I couldn't agree more, sir. Okay, so now we're going to go check out that other corridor that we found that I didn't go through before. Uh, I do suspect that that's simply the way out so that I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning again. I will take that. And that. And, of course, that. How much carry weight do I have available? <laughs> Not much. I will make a separate sh uh, 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 Oh, it's you again. You have done well thus far, but trying times are ahead. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. You will be called on to take swift action, rise to the challenge, and discover what you are capable of. You are on the right path, and you will prevail. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Pretty well, pretty well. We're in the Mazolft area of Stick of Truth. <clears throat> we just finished it. And we're going to report back to the College of Winterhold. How are you doing, Mr. Soggy Roman? Okay, how do we get down from here? Why does it sound like I'm barefoot? I do have boots on. I guess that's just the terrain sound in this area. Yeah, I thought I would do something different, Mr. Soggy Roman. But then I thought better of it. Oh, it's you guys. <clears throat> Steam Crag Camp. Oh, I should uh, refix up my magic. Healing was two, and elemental bolt was one. Wait, what? Report to Savos Aren, 1,041 feet upwards. Okay, hang on. Oh, 
Oh, okay, never mind. It is back at the college. I was thinking we had to go back to Mazolft somehow. It is South Park Saturday after all. Yes, it is. Thank you. And there we go. No thanks, I am of course. just looking to check your extra storage. Sure. All right. Okay, what do we got here? Oh crap, no wonder I'm overloaded. I'm still carrying dragon crap. Oh, shoot, no. She was carrying dragon crap. Okay, thank you, Vilya. I'm going to hold you to that. I really wish it didn't make my companions go hostile to just murder those freaking guys. Every single time it becomes really tempting. Thanks, Prob. <laughs> oh, the real evil is when you wait until I'm overburdened and then you make me move even slower. There we go. Damn it. That's what you're going to do? Then I'm not picking anything up until I have a chance to drop all my crap off. That, of course, was a filthy lie. Now, where are we? We're just... Okay. So we want to start cutting north a bit. We'll meet up with the road. Kynes Grove discovered. Here's the road. Thanks, Mr. Soggy Roman.
No soul gem large enough. Capnace, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing this evening? What's going on? How was your stream? Tell me all about it. What What's happening? Here, let me get you a shout out. Uh, oh, thank you, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I'm going to actually delay that. I will raise the desk after my next break, which will be about 15 minutes or so from now. So that's when I, I will get back and do that then. Uh, so let me see. How was your stream, Capnes? What were you playing today? What was going on? Guys, if you're not following Capnes, he's been a friend of the channel for quite some time now. Please make sure you go give him a follow if you're not already. And there we go. Oh, Total War Room 3. How was that going? I have. Oh, no, wait. That's Total War Room 2. How did that one go? Played some COD, uh, uh, Call of Duty, what is BO3? Then got destroyed in Rome 2, but had fun. That's awesome. Skyrim, we've only just gotten started. We finished off the Mazalft area as part of the College of Winterhold quest, and now we're reporting back to Savos of Ren at the actual college itself. Uh, it's really good to see you. Welcome on in. Folks, if you are n new here... My name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and I throw in the odd occasional real-world with actual bricks Lego stream build. So uh, if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button, and I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Wrong. Button. There. Come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that one. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. There we go. That's a little bit of a... Uh, hang on. <sighs> there. <laughs> That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Sorry, I... I did a major upgrade to my stream setup, and I'm still not entirely 100% used to it. Uh, my stream deck layout is all different now, and I occasionally lose track of what's going on where. There we are. 
honestly never got into the Elder Scrolls game, so you're not even sure who Koopa is. He was being Mr. Soggy Roman. Koopa's not a character in these games. That's a Mario character, I believe. Stayed up all right all night with games, pizza, and friends. 6 a.m., going to go to bed soon. I was sort of celebrating something. Oh, that's awesome, Jarek. What was it, if you don't mind saying? I mean, if you do, that's fine, too. I'm just curious. It sounds like a good night, though, and I appreciate you stopping in. Windhelm Stables. Um, guys, thank you. No, we don't actually want to go to Windhelm. I'm going to hope that there's someplace safe I can jump off the wall once we're on the far side of the river. Thank you very much, Patriotic. I appreciate the gold. Ooh, hang on. There we go. Oh. Um, I think I can make this maybe work. We don't actually want to go to Windhelm, especially because there's no way to get out the other side of the city. There's no north exit, so we just have to cut around as best we can. Hello? Uh -oh. Look over there. You don't think that maybe I'm already aware? Now, what is that over there? Oh, that's... I think that's a tree stump or something. Hey, Patriotic. Yes, because being as annoying as possible is a really good way to convince people to do things, Mr. Soggy Roman. <laughs> Jika. Um, what do we have here? Shatter. Frost spells that hit a frost resistant target fragment and explode in a 4.5 meter area, reducing frost resistance by 25% for 10 seconds. This effect stacks. Scorched Earth. Fire spells, except for concentration spells, burn corpses to cinders, jet creating a pyre that burns for 30 seconds. The burning ground deals 50 points of damage per second for 5 seconds on contact. Okay. That's amazing. We're getting that one. Thank you, Prob. Oh, crap. Don't get too excited yet about the whole making things slow. What do you need to take? That's cute. Don't get your hopes up. Let's 
Is it just me who thinks the sound is funky? How do you mean, what time? Think I'm going to go. I've never been into Skyrim anyway, but here's some gold. Thank you, Prob. I appreciate it. Also, it's good to see you with time. What's going on? Oh. Yeah, uh, the raid video or something else may have muted the game again, so you were only hearing the game through my own speakers. We can do that, Mr. Soggy Roman. Hang on. What did the vicar use to improve his vegetable garden? Lettuce spray. There you go. Oh, let me see. Game audio is going through speakers, then the mic. Yes. Oh, uh, well, I had a meeting and it went swimmingly. All parties agreed to me starting on a back to work scheme thingy. Hang on, I missed part of that. Uh, for oh, uh, the, for starts, but unless I screw up bad or if my back won't cut it, it's a job. That's awesome, Jared. Congratulations. I'm glad that yeah, everything that went well fun. with the meeting. That's really, really cool. Okay. With a job, it's going to be more mud grubs, maybe. <laughs> uh, then maybe I shouldn't say congratulations. Maybe I'm being too hasty. Oh, okay. And it looks like it's just about time for a break as well. So I'm going to get that started right now. And I will be back in a few minutes, and uh, when I do come back, I will have the desk raised as per your redemption, Mr. Soggy Ramen. So thank you for that, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Philip, you ever use the force just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the force to trip up some jerk who's kicking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Oh, come on. There's got to be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. 
I merely have these years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> well, that answers your question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clever. You don't see that every day. I think that cow is walking on the ceiling. It must be part spider. Okay. Oh. When they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Oh my. Now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. You know, I think that might very well be the very first time I have ever... You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smilberf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. There we go. Oh. There, now we. Just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character Library with the potential Lord, for a few more sequels, I wouldn't just even consider it. Channel. Elves, please prepare Skull. a seat for our guest. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... Oh, you're one of ours. Never... Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. That is how you deal with trolls. ...and interact with a castle part. Bend your territory by placing borders. Oh my god. I've been running around this whole place and this is all that I've seen? Barbane Waygate. 
Um, that's a freaking. Okay, I am back. First things first, need to look over my car, then PC stuff. Not having a job for years puts a dent in things? Yes, I can imagine, Jarig. Who might you folks be? place for them to just randomly decide to hang out? What the heck? Amish, thank you so heckin' much for- th to jail. It was framed long. Oh god. <laughs> wow, okay. So the, uh, the message reading is working today. That's a plus. How's it going, Amish? Thank you so much for 36 frickin' months. That's incredible. I hope you're doing well tonight. No worries, Jarg. I appreciate the lurk. Have a good time at your game event later. That sounds like a lot of fun. Why did the picture go to jail? It was framed, oh my god. I, I still need to figure out which source that thing is coming from and see if I can find a way to boost the volume on it. All right, hand over your valuables or I'll gut you like a fish. Uh, walk away right now. Well, I uh, can see you're not one to be trifled with. Let this be a warning to you. Smart. Take that. Oh. Our buddy, the snow giant's here. Just finished watching The Boys all three seasons. It's a show, yeah, I've always avoided it. I've heard good things, but not my kind of deal. I I have heard that it is really, really good, though. I have my plate pretty full with all the stuff I already currently watch. I still haven't finished The Rings of Power. I've got The Last of Us on the go. I still haven't watched the third episode of The Last of Us. I still have to catch up on that one. College of Winterhold coming up. Five thousand, six thousand feet up. What?
That doesn't make sense. Guard might get nervous. A woman approaches. I don't know. It's like a ward, but who's casting it? On Kano? How? I don't care what it is. I want it down now. I want to know what he's doing in there. I don't know what he's doing, but he won't get away with it. I know where to find the staff of Magnus. Excellent. I'd suggest that we go retrieve it immediately. But right now we have more pressing matters. Ancano has somehow locked himself in the hall. He's up to something, and I intend to put a stop to it. Help us get through this, will you? We're throwing everything we have at it. Hmm. Okay, that does look like a Sparks kind of uh, deal, so we're going to temporarily make this go. One of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skull. There we go. <clears throat> There's good and disappointing things about the boys all in all. It's Matt. Stick of Truth, on the I other hand, the is 10 out of 10, and you're not the only one who thinks so. Let's get going. Oh, do we get to murder on Kano now? That sounds like fun. Can you walk? I need you on your feet. We're in trouble here. I think I'm okay. Ancano is doing something with that thing, the eye. We can't stop him. I haven't seen Savo since the explosion. He must have been blown clear and he may be injured. I need you to find the Archmage and I need you to do it quickly. Get moving. What happened? I'll be fine. I just need a minute to catch my breath. Find Savos. Maybe for April 1st, I'll play that one on stream, Mr. Soggy Ramen. That actually legitimately does seem like an April Fool's kind of game. It's on Kano. He's done something with the eye. By the nine, is he responsible for this? The Archmage? Dead? There's more. Something's happened to Winterhold. It must be whatever on Kano did. You need to get out there and make sure it's safe. Quickly now, quickly. I'll find Mirabelle and see if we can't put a stop to this. Protect the town of Winterhold. Uh, can we... I can't seem to loot the Archmage. Guys, could you maybe not stand right on the body? Well, this is obnoxious. Whatever, fine. <laughs> In anticipation What's of a Skyrim on? stream. What happened to you? Something went wrong. Winterhold may be in danger. Can you help? It may be in danger? Take a look. I don't think there's much question. Let's get down there. We have to do something. You know what? Area effect might not be my best option for this. I think we're going to go back to Sparks, actually. Uh, you know what? Second thought, maybe not Sparks. Maybe... Ah, oh, okay. Uh, in that case, we'll put that back on one. And it looks like I've already got Lightning Bolt on seven.
Come on, guys. Thank you. Guys, we're not done. Heads up. Were you not watching? <laughs> nice, Mr. Soggy Ramen. your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Don't you forget it. Okay, what do we have? You can have that. Get going then. Yes, indeed. Oh, no, the body's gone. What the hell? I want my loot. That is freaking obnoxious. out there all right winter holds is safe for now wish i could say the same for us talk dear and i can try and keep this contained you need to get your hands on the staff of magnus now you really think the staff will help you were told to find it weren't you if the stories about the staff are true if it really can absorb a tremendous amount of power maybe we can break through on connor's magic oh i don't get to murder him now okay fine then i'm off to labyrinthian what are you... are you sure? The staff is there. That can't be a coincidence. What are you talking about? The Archmage. He... he gave me something just a little while ago. He told me it was from Labyrinthian and that I would know what to do with it when the time came. I think... I think he meant this for you then. I'm not sure why, but there was something very personal about it for him. I think you should take this amulet. 
It belonged to Savos, but I think it would do you the most good now. Take it and get out of here. Bring back that staff before Ancano brings the whole college down around us. Okay. I'm right behind you. Yeah, unfortunately, the corpse appears to have disappeared. Oh. Oh. It's just the frickin' skeleton. I may have to use a console command to give myself the robes I so rightfully earned. Or maybe try to craft something even better. for me. So we have to make a trip back home and then we'll move over to Labyrinthian. Shouldn't take too long to get there from home actually. Who put that there? Well, it was probably Chad. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? Not sure, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I don't happen to know the, uh, the summoning command in the console, do you, Watai? I think we've already cleared this out, and I kind of doubt that it's already respawned. And by cleared out, I mean the outside, not necessarily the inside. I don't remember if we actually went in inside the castle. Let's try it.
Thank you. All spells are 15% less to cast, increases Magicka by 50 points, and Magicka regenerates. Yes, we're doing that. Okay. I'm pretty okay with using the console to fix a problem where the game bugged out and I wasn't able to get something I was supposed to have. Stormcloak. Yeah, well. Let that be a warning to you. Journal. I is at. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. No, not like this. I thought we'd already taken these guys out. Oh, is that the horse of the Stormcloak? The what? Oh, Sarana, of course. I like Minecraft commands. Super fun to put a, a kill all on a repeating clock. All right, guys. Looks like we have roughly a minute or two before the ads begin. So in just a little bit, I'm going to start my next break. Not really a full break. I'm just going to put my desk back down and uh, run some clips. And then we will get back underway on our mission to drop crap off before heading to what used to be known as Labyrinthian. And the game still refers to that way, but I actually have a mod that turns it into a full thriving city, so that should be fun. I've genuinely been curious about what's going to happen if we do the College of Winterhold quest while that mod is active. Based on, like, I, I, I've done a quick run-through of the city. I haven't spent any time there, but I literally just passed right through it. And it looks like everything needed for the quest is still intact. So it should work just fine. But it's going to be a fun seeing how it plays out. So I'm going to uh, go in and do those clips right now, and I'll be back in just a few. Investigate the dragon. 
Are you a sorcerer from the college? I am, but this is really not the time, sir. Well, except I'm not actually from the college yet. Kitchen. Ah. Come here, dearie. <laughs> Portal on your mark. <laughs> um, you okay, sir? Excuse me, do you mind if I, uh, poke around in your car a little? You do? Oh, hello. Wasn't talking to you, buddy. Ow. Ah, you jerk. Pet? What? Are you... Oh my god. They open. Rip that. Okay, I'm back. I think that one's Imperial. Oh, damn it, Serana. Your freaking skeleton is making noises at me. Keep away from the road there, of course. We don't want to run and into the Jester of Doom. What say you? Should we investigate? No, we are on a mission, Vilya. We can investigate Nordic ruins later. After we're done investigating a particular Nordic ruin. Just got a Mega Millions ad that said it was above 600 million. That's false advertising. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Raman.
Okay, so there we are. That's home. Oh. What's that? Clear through. How am I missing? Stop running around. There we go. Uh, oh. There we go. I don't need woolly rhinos running around my backyard. Oh no, a terrible pun or dad joke again. How's it going, Tigerung? It's good to see you. Okay. Why did the boa constrictors go on a date? Because they had a crush on each other. There you go. All right, guys, cough it up. It would be nice to just talk a little, you and I. No, it would not. I would need your stuff. That will have to wait. You say that an awful lot. Do you know that? Yes, I do. Sure. All right. Wow. I gave her a thing or two. Sure. As you wish. She should have been more weighed down than I am. So, uh, what are we going now? We're I've just got your back. sticking around here for the moment. I am sworn to carry your burdens. She can keep the glass mace. And actually, she can have Umbra, too. Thank you. Um, Sarana. Do you need something? Yes, I do. This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. I'm actually reclaiming those. Thank you. All right, Uthgird, your turn. Cough it up. Let's get going. Nope, not yet. What do you need to take? Everything. Oh, that's a nice sword. I like the design. She can keep it, though. Heroic storm cloak. Like there is such a thing.
Lead on then. Thank you. Good morning. Okay, let's see, we'll get rid of these. People have really got to stop making books undroppable. Hmm, okay. I do like that armor, but away it goes. Mm -hmm. I like that ring, I might keep that on me. Increases Magicka, that's not bad. I'm going to definitely keep that on me. Oh, I like this. What? Spellbinder Runic Armor? It's all heavy armor, though. That's the problem. Okay. do that. Okay. I thought I had one where I kept my uh, soul gems. Actually, I guess I wouldn't have done that because now I'm actually using the soul gems. Okay, so we'll just stick stuff away.
Torque of Labyrinthian. What? What the heck? Shambling coming in with the raid. So many raids tonight. It's so good to see you, Shambling. Folks, if you don't know Shambling Undead, she's a wonderful streamer, excellent content creator. I love hanging out in her streams very much. How are you doing tonight, Shambling? It's so good to have you here. What were you up to this evening? Could we get some... Oh, uh, yeah. Could we get some shout-outs for Shambling, please? Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Undead raid. I love that. Welcome on in, Jim2 and Shambling. How's it going? What were you up to this evening? Awesome. What is... Okay, that's a game I'm not familiar with. Tell me about Para Eyes. Folks, if you are new here to my stream, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and I every once in a while will throw in the occasional real-world physical actual bricks lego building stream so if any of that sounds fun please feel free to hit the follow button and i do have a little bit of a video to welcome you all in properly hopefully it won't scare too many of you away welcome on in folks let's get the stream started shall we whoa Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. Hang on, just a second. My setup is all different. I have to fix some stuff. Uh, okay, Shambling, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. That was a little bit of a preview of what you can expect here. Uh, flaws and all. Uh, let me see. Para Eyes is a scary spot, the difference game. I've actually seen a number of those cop popping up around uh, you know, streams every now and then. Is it similar to something like, say, um, what's it called? I'm on observation duty because I was watching Hippo play that the other day and it looked, it actually looked like it might possibly have been something that I could give a try to. It's kind of horror-esque, but not really a horror game. It doesn't look particularly stressful, which is usually my objection to horror games. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So I've never heard of that particular one. But I'm familiar with the concept. You folks actually arrived just in time. I just had to spend a good solid five minutes emptying my inventory and the inventories of all of my companions because I pick up way too much stuff. 
because of course this is Skyrim um, and you have to loot all the things so we just got done with that and now we're continuing on with the late stages of the um, Archmage of College of Winterhold storyline so technically I'm not actually the Archmage yet but once I'm done this quest line like th this part of the quest I think I've got maybe one more thing I need to do and then I will probably assume control of the college. So how did your stream go? That sounds like it was pretty fun. Community nights are always good. I haven't done one in a very long time. Maybe that's a thing we should do again sometime. I don't know what I would play for it. So, how is everybody doing tonight? I hope you're all doing well. Does anybody have any awesome plans for the weekend? I'm mostly going to be streaming. I might possibly end up watching Wakanda Forever now that it's finally out. I don't really consider movies to be out anymore. If they're in movie theaters, they're only out once they're streaming. And it looks like that one just came out this week on Disney+, Plus, so I might finally catch that one. Although I still have to watch, uh, I still have to watch the third episode of The Last of Us. And honestly, I'm a lot more worried about that one being spoiled than I am about Wakanda Forever. As much as I'm sure that one's also awesome. Okay. Now we're actually going, we need to go to Labyrinthian, so I don't really need to follow the road as such. I'll go the more direct route. you're a giant. I'm so used to seeing funky, weird, modded giants that I almost don't recognize a normal one anymore. I haven't watched The Last of Us show, but I've not played the game, so I wasn't super pumped to watch it or anything. I'll probably watch it eventually, though. Honestly, you don't need to watch the game to watch the show, if that's anything near stopping you. It's such an incredibly faithful reproduction of the story of the game that it's really just not necessary. Of course, that does mean you're kind of in the position of choosing which you want spoiled. If you play the game first, it's kind of spoiling the... Okay, uh, Skyrim just decided to go bye-bye. We'll have to get that reloaded. That's fun. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so if you if you play the game, you're kind of spoiling the show. On the other hand, if you watch the show, you're kind of spoiling the game. But there are differences between the two. They're not like it's very faithful to the um, to the games. The show is very faithful to the games, but it's not so faithful that it feels constrained to do exactly what the game did and only what the game did. So. There will be surprises and, uh, you know, things that you can enjoy and be startled by, even if you have played the game before and you decide to watch the show after. That's what I've been told. I just mean that I feel like people who have played it loved it so much and were are probably more excited than those who haven't played it. Yeah, that's probably fair, honestly. On the other hand, I know at least one person who saw a particular episode of the series and was kind of disappointed at some of the changes. I think, you know, I, I, that that's that's fair. At the same time, I think people maybe get a little too attached and are just absolutely unwilling to accept even small changes that make sense.
there are a lot of people who just, you know, they'll say, well, sure, it's an adaptation and that means something has to change, but in that case, that just means you shouldn't do the thing. You shouldn't make the adaptation. Just leave it as a game. Which I honestly think it's fair to think that, but I also think it's kind of a silly position because it's not like making the adaptation deprives us of the original. We still have the game. We can play it. In fact, we can play it in more than one form now because we've got the original game and we've got the remade game. So it's not like it's cost us anything. But people will be people. And that's fine. There's nothing really wrong with thinking that. They have reasons for thinking that. I don't agree with those reasons, but that's me. I just know, I haven't seen the third episode yet. I know people are kind of going crazy spoiling it all over social media. I haven't really caught any big spoilers. The only thing I've thought that might be a spoiler is something that as a person who has played the game before, I was already aware of, so I wasn't too worried about it. But I'll see if I can catch that this weekend. I generally love when media I enjoy gets adapted to other types of media. I always try to give those things a chance. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it works out really well. Sometimes it works out less well. But the worst I can say about the worst adaptation I've ever seen is that it still managed to give me a, an hour or two of enjoyment. Even if it wasn't exactly what I was looking for originally. And if it kept me entertained for like a couple hours or however long, then I really can't be mad about it. Okay, now I am going to quick save here. Oh, that's... Huh. That's a little weird. I was just going to say, I'm going to quick save here just in case the crash we experienced was location dependent. That kind of makes it seem like it's location dependent. Maybe we'll, uh, you know, backtrack and go along the road after all and just avoid whatever cells that is that we're entering. Oh, crap. Uh... While I'm getting that going, we've got ads starting in about a minute, so I'm also going to take a real quick break here. I'm just going to run some clips, make sure that uh, those of you um, who are going to have to suffer through the ads, you're not actually going to miss anything. So I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. some sort of discharge loop and if i move from this spot they're threatening to blow up she knew i wouldn't know how to fix them if you try to do some repairs they don't care if you move it's just me who's stuck well i guess we should help them out yes yes i knew i liked this fellow the minute i saw him i say leave him you're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady you know i'll take it back let's congratulate his wife <laughs>
Whoops. <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. How are we doing time wise here? Oh no. 66. Wow, that dramatic music cue. in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying mass of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you. Uh, the kitchen. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm back, and the game is reloaded. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. Okay. So, it was just up that way. Let's not go that way. We're going to run back, and we're going to take the road, even though it's longer and slower. That's one of the drawbacks. I mean, of course, everybody knows about Skyrim and its famous bugs. But... Huh. Well. Okay, I was about to say, but I have added a crap ton of mods into the mix. But I've this is the first time I've experienced this type of crashing in the game in quite some time. And the very first time I've experienced this type of crashing with this set of mods in place. Although it has been a little bit since I played Skyrim, I wonder if maybe some of the mods updated. That could be fun. I think instead of loading that particular save, uh, we want our Una mod. I did a quick save there. Where was my auto mod? Yeah, we're going to load this. Or my auto save, rather, not my auto mod. Uh, we're going to load that one back up again, and we're just going to carry along the road entirely and not do our little off-road excursion that we've been doing. And hopefully we'll be able to get a clear path to Labyrinthian that way. You know what it actually does remind me of? I, I haven't had that specific type of crashing that I know of, but I did have one instance with a close variation of this mod set. I mean, the mod set has been evolving, but I was doing this same playthrough. I believe it was the same playthrough back around last Halloween. And... Sometime after, I guess it probably would have been during November sometime, we had similar crashes any time I would get too close to a particular area, but that was because there was a mod conflict going on there, and it was causing a crystal dragon to throw some really serious render errors. 
And so I kept trying to fight this crystal dragon, and I managed to kill it once, but then the game crashed right after. And then for, like, I don't know how many attempts I made, it might have been close to eight or ten attempts to try and fight this and kill this dragon again. But the game would just bomb out anytime I got too close to it. And then eventually I changed up the mods again, as I am prone to doing. And uh, I found that not only was I able to finally fight and kill the crystal dragon, but when I looked at it, I had never seen a crystal dragon before. So, you know, the first time when it was bugged out and crashing the game, it looked impressive, but it also looked a bit undetailed and was not really rendering correctly. Uh, and then when the problem had been resolved, it, it just looked absolutely spectacular and very, very different than it had originally. This reminds me a little bit of that, except that there was presumably no dragon out there, so I don't know what might have been causing it. Yeah, it was kind of frustrating, but you know, I'm one of those players that, particularly with games like Skyrim and Fallout 4 and RimWorld and all that kind of stuff, I, I tend to overmod the game a lot, so I'm kind of just used to it. <laughs> What the heck? Radomar, thank you so much for the resub. Evening. 68 freaking months. That's amazing. How are you doing? Only one more month, Renamar. Only one more month. Also, I really need to... Yeah, uh, I, I do have all new alerts. And they're a little bit of a work in progress. I really need to tone down the static effect, I think. That is intentional. It's not the audio screwing up. It's not a problem with the alert files. It's an intentional effect that I think is a little too strong, so I'm just going to have to rebalance that a little bit. No problem, Shambling. Thank you so much for bringing your community over. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening, and please enjoy your lurk and your food. Enjoy both. Not bad here. I had the day off and did absolutely nothing. That is the best kind of day. We're just trying to make our way to Labyrinthian here in-game. Experiencing a little bit of a technical issue with it. I tried to go cross-country west of Whiterun. And we're experiencing a very abrupt and non-obviously sourced crash to desktop error. Not really surprising given the number of mods I have going on, I suppose. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay, so I'm starting to think it's maybe less related to location then. That timing, though, wow, that that's precisely what we've been experiencing. <clears throat> that's a little awkward, honestly. I think we're going to have to bypass this by going against the grain. I normally walk everywhere in Skyrim. I might just have to fast travel somewhere relatively nearby Labyrinthian and hope for the best. So hang on a second, and we will get this going again. And I'm just going to load up that same saved game again. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter if we're going to fast travel. I can fast travel from anywhere. There we go. Okay. We're trying to go Brabjinar. The Brinthian, yeah, so that's the city. Oh, that's perfect. We'll go to Mirwatch. That's right outside. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> yes, I didn't even have a chance to use it. I'm so skilled that I just obliterated our enemies before I even had a chance to pull the string. Okay, let's get some quick saving done, and then we need to get to Labyrinthian, so we gotta cross the water. And we'll go up this way. So, for those of you who have come in more recently, we are doing the College of Winterhold quest line. We're nearing the end. We're about to go into Labyrinthian. It's called Bromjunar on the map because I've got a mod installed that turns Labyrinthian from a ruin into an active and thriving city for wizards. So this is going to be interesting on several fronts. First of all, because I enjoy the quest line, but also because I've passed through Bromjunar once earlier in the playthrough, but I have not spent any time whatsoever there. This will be my first time actually spending a little bit of time there. So we're not going to probably spend a huge amount of time there. Are you okay? Huh. That's not you being silly. We got floating horses. We're going to poke around the city just a tiny bit. And then we're going to get on with what we got to get on with. Oh, wow. Anytime I'm looking directly into the city, the game, it gets a little bit chuggy. I might have to head into the dungeon pretty quickly if that's going to be the case inside. I am glad to not be able to feel the cold or to I miss the feeling of warmth. Good morning, Archmage. I'm not the Archmage yet. Savos is just barely dead. Why are you calling me Archmage already? This one needs something. I do. What have you got? Take a look. Adept robes of alteration. Brawler steel gauntlets. Hunter backpack. Mage backpack with bedroll. He's actually got some pretty good stuff. Conjure, Avenging Wraith. I've already got all those spell tomes. Okay. Witch Plate Greaves. Not a bad selection, sir. Good morning, Archmage. <clears throat> Blades, helmets, pretty much anything will suit your needs. Ebony Helmet of Major Alchemy. Fancy. Elven Mace of Garnering. Orcish Boots of Extreme Stamina. Vardenfell Glass Helmet. Oh, man. That's... Oh, I, I, right, I forgot. I left all of my gold. Thank you. This must be that beautiful Skyrim warhol I was about. It is. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's a little bit slow here. Oh, they've got a fancy schmancy tree. I'm assuming 
there are no trolls. Blessing of Kinareth. Oh, hey, there's a thing. We need to do the thing. Oh, that's not the thing I was expecting. Okay. I thought it was one of those, you know, collectible what's its Shrine of Stendar. What's the worst that could happen? You would care about that, since you are the Archmage's favorite. Don't forget, this whole idea was ours to begin with. Let's just get inside, see what's in there. Well, are we going? Okay, I guess I'm going. College of Brobjanar? Wait, did they actually get rid of... They better not have gotten rid of the dungeon. What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, if this mod conflicts with the quest, I'm going to be so annoyed. I need the original dungeon. There's got to be an entrance to it, right? They wouldn't do that. That's stupid. I mean, on the one hand, this is kind of awesome. But my god, there had better be a way to get into the original area. Arcane Enchanter. Staff of Paralysis. Arcana Restored. Excuse me, guys. Oh, boy. This is not good. <laughs> How could they possibly... And now it's still just pointing at that frickin' Ugh. Hang on. Let's look at the local map. College of Bromjanar. Masterful Mixtures. Bromjanar's Warehouse. Hall of the Dead. Shaladar's... Wait, Shaladar's Maze. Shaladar's Maze. Maybe I should try that.
seems unlikely with Ty. I'm pretty sure he just fell in an awkward spot and that's why I couldn't loot him. Okay, this does not look anything like anything I remember from the College of Winterhold quest line. I'm pretty sure this is mod added. Run, dismay. I guess we should at least attempt the maze. Or not. Okay, never, maybe not. Maybe we'll just bypass it. I think I'm going to have to resort to ye old Google and see if it actually replaces it. I may have to uninstall the mod if I want to get the College of Winterhold thing done. It just seems bizarre to me that they would create a mod that does that. Repulsion, firebolts. Okay, those are very clearly key to getting through the maze which means we're probably never gonna get through the maze because I'm gonna stash these away and never remember what ones I need to get through it. Okay. Pardon me while I Google this for one second. Skyrim Bromjumnar College of Winterhold Questline Labyrinthian. It is recommended that you finish the College of Winterhold questline before downloading the city. It won't cause any major problems, but you'll have to access the old labyrinthian from a trapdoor situated on a wall by the city's southern gate. And also use the TLC command to bypass the doors. Yeah, screw that. I'm just going to temporarily disable the mod until we get through with it. Okay, that's easy. I'm just gonna place a marker on there. We're gonna run back. I'm gonna go inside so that we can do this without screwing up the world. guys can handle it. I am not interested.
All right, here we go. I'm going to quick save and properly save. Now I'm going to have to quit. Okay, now I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but uh, I'm just quickly... City of Bramjamar, let's disable that. I don't need to actually... I don't. I shouldn't need to uninstall it. Just as long as it's disabled, so it's not there when I play the game, that should be fine. And now I can relaunch. Also, we've got ads starting again in about maybe two and a half minutes. So just give me a chance to get the game loaded up. We will run back and confirm that Labyrinthian is as it should be. And then I will take a quick break to allow the ads to run so you guys don't miss anything. If we can't get back fast enough, then we'll have to confirm Labyrinthian is as it should be once I get back from that break. In fact, actually, uh, it's already getting a bit too late for that. It's taking longer to load the game than I thought. So if you guys are okay with it, let me just... Yep, that's fine. While this is loading up, I'm going to start the clips now, and I'll meet you back here in a minute or two. I'm going to put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to... Uh... Wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. All right. What do you mean you can't reach my freaking location? Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. I love that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. Maybe if I run real fast, we can just clear right through there. Okay. Maybe. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. some cooking. Un oh, shoot. <sighs> that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Look over there. A new water frog. <laughs> Ah! Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh. I hate it. Moira's mo- Ah! What? <laughs> wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the uh, compies, I see. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Okay, we are back. Sorry to interrupt the concert, Milia. Now... When it was loading back up again, it did say that content was missing, so we should theoretically be okay now. Oh, my frame rate is certainly a lot better in this area, and we don't have the fancy magical doodads on those pillars, so that's a good sign. We probably will have to deal with some trolls, but, you know, what can you do? Trolls are just an everyday occurrence. Okay, no magical gate, no magical guard, no funky city. And there's a troll up there. I think we're probably all right. As soon as we're done this quest line, though, I am definitely going to have to put that city back in because it looks freaking cool. Probably nowhere near hitting. That's okay. I might have actually gotten him, or at the very least, I got close enough to get his attention. Oh, there is one of these things. Okay, that's what that was. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What could possibly get us over here? Never mind. We may or may not take on the tro- uh -oh. Look over there. What? Oh. I thought a troll found us. Just a freaking skeever. Alright, never mind. We're going in. Torque of Labyrinthian removed. Uh. New problem. I have this terrible feeling that the ghosts unlock the door for you. And that because the ghosts already appeared and unlocked the wrong door, we're now trapped. So I'm going to have to reload an older save. <laughs> uh, that's so annoying. 
<laughs> Shalador's maze. Oh my god, all the way No. Oh, that's not the sound acting up. That was me forgetting to unmute the game. Sorry about that. Goodbye to all the progress we made today. Which, granted, is precious little. We haven't really done anything. Well. We, we did a little bit in here, which we now have to redo. I think we're going to work on something other than the College of Winterhold after this. G Gavros, is that you? I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. That's so irritating. What the? Yes? What are you doing here? It was the fault if Gav and you, if you're here, it didn't work. Well, I was, Gavros had to cart it all the way back. It was a brilliant secret, though. Well... I'm afraid I can't. You found him. That's it? In fact, who are you? You are Savos. I don't much... Come on. No matter what, I was the one who thought of using this. this Sorry, guys. I'm annoyed. I what just want to get is? through this fast, so I'm skipping all the dialogue that's possible to skip. Okay, now we want that on one, we want sparks on two, what was three? Three was bound bow, no, there, okay. Oh, right, I need to, oh, hurry up, Pardis. Get a move on, I don't have all minute. I need to install the thing in the thing. Here it is. Magnificent. It took an incredible amount of work. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Lots of work. Come on. Place the crystal in the central apparatus, and we can start the process of focusing. Thank you. Uh, did I not do that? Yeah. Oh, that's... That's not what I need. That I want frost, not... Oh, right, I didn't have it. Um, where is... Destruction, frostbite. That was it. OK. 
Okay, that one's good. Okay. Oh. These results. Actually, They're give me all the books too. What they should be. Up like the night sky. Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. Something in middle looks like. What are you playing at? Is this some attempt to stall my work? Yes, definitely. So what is it? What have you done? Did you know what we were... Well, explain yourself. Did something go wrong? Everything... How did you do it? I don't understand why you're so upset. Just look. This should be... You have something at your college, don't you? You mean the something Eye of Magnus? Well, well, that's interesting. Yes, the staff. Interesting. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Have you seen the orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources of great magical power. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. Of course. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. One is your college. The other, well, that can only be Labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold, despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies. I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. So fine. Trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil and deliver my full report to the Council. This is not over, I assure you. I think we're done here. You got what you came... Well, yes. Probably. I mean, yes. Certainly it is. But that doesn't matter now, because I know you're hoarding something even more important at your college. The Council will be informed of this. They will find out what you're up to. I think you've been here too long. You're crazy. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. Your trickery won't confuse me. Uh-huh. Okay, definitely we're... crazy. We are going to make another hard save point here so we don't have to do this again. And we're going to do yourself. kind of the accelerated version of everything we did before, which is basically we're going to fast travel everywhere. We're going to defend Winterhold against the magic anomalies. And as far as emptying companion inventories go, oh wait, where's the Sigic guy? Here he is. I'll just dump it all at the college and then I'll sort it out later. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. You will be called on to take swift action. Rise to the challenge and discover what you are capable of. You are on the right path, and you will prevail. Okay, College of Winterhold. Take note, folks. 
But fast traveling in Skyrim, this is not a thing that happens often. I'm right behind you. Now, before we report to Savos, we do need to clear inventory space. I'm going to take advantage of my college room here. I'm just going to just dump everything in my drawer. All the stuff from my companions, inventories, everything. Yes. All right, let's see what you have. Other way around. For once, I'm taking all you've got. Oh, wait. Actually, you want to keep that. That way I don't have to spend time actually sorting it out. I'm right behind you. I can just do it really quickly and I then I'll take time off burdens. stream to put it away properly where it's supposed to go and all that. Uh, you don't have a lot of stuff that I would want to take away from you. You use the ebony bow of expelling the glass mace and umbra apparently as well as some of this other stuff. So I'll just leave that with Let's you. Let's going then. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Everything. I'll take those, that, those, and that, that, that. Those are all right. Thank you. No. Lead on then. Still here. Are you hungry? I could make a meal for you if you like. No, I'm good. Of course. Sure. As you wish. Okay. Sure. Second bag. So, um, where are we going now? To my room. Still here. Okay, empty. That's not going to stay that way for long. We're going to put all this crap away, and then we're just going to call it a day. We'll go check in with Savos for the last time. Okay, those are good. Keys are fine. Uh, 
And I'll just take back any soul gems that don't happen to be filled. Although, oh, yeah, I do have a few. Not many. Okay. Carry weight 51. All my companions' inventories clear. Let's do another proper save. Once again, so I just don't have to do that again. Sparks or actually lightning bolt. Let's use lightning ah. bolt. What is? I want it down now. I want to know what he's doing in there. I don't know what he's doing, but he won't get away with it. Excellent. I'd suggest that we go retrieve it immediately, but right now we have more pressing matters. Ancano has somehow locked himself in the hall. He's up to something, and I intend to put a stop to it. Help us get through this, will you? We're throwing everything we have at it. No problem. Okay, now we need to restore elemental bolt goes to one, and then what was two? That was healing. And... Right, bound bow is three. You sure we can't murder him right now? Are you all right? Can you walk? I need you on your feet. We're in trouble here. Ancano is doing something with that thing, the eye. We can't stop him. I haven't seen Savo since the explosion. He must have been blown clear and he may be injured. I need you to find the Archmage and I need you to do it quickly. Get moving. All right. I'll be fine. I just need a minute to catch my breath. Find Savos. Off we go. Hopefully he landed in a better spot this time. But if not, we can just use the command again. Ah. What's happened? Are you alright? What happened in there? It's Ankeno. He's done something with the eye. By the nine? Is he responsible for this? The Archmage? Dead? There's more. I'm gonna find Something's Richards. happened to Winterhold. It must be whatever Ancano did. You need to get out there and make sure it's safe. Quickly now, quickly. I'll find Mirabelle and see if we can't put a stop to this. I'm still here. Is he dead? Oh, that's weird. I still can't search him, even though he's in a completely different area. I'm still here. Okay, then. Um... Let me see if I can find that command. Okay, I got it. Oop. I'm going to find whoever did this. Okay, now I just need to fix chat because I had to scroll back to find that. There we go. So is anybody else getting the really stupid intense winter storm that we've got going on here? I don't know about you guys, but right now <clears throat> it's minus 23 Celsius. So it's getting down there. That's where even I have to start admitting that it's getting a little bit chilly. Stop. 
Okay, and I'm gonna quick save. Wait, what am I? Oh, I'm wearing gauntlets. Okay. What's going on? What happened in there? Something went wrong. Winterhold may be in danger. Can you help? It may be in danger? Take a look. I don't think there's much question. Let's get down there. We have to do something. Yeah, I don't remember seeing you there, Feralda, last time. If you're here for sightseeing, you lift a finger to help us. And you've seen the sights. Might as well head somewhere. Other chili, Mr. Soggy Roman. I'm in Denmark. We just had the wettest January in recorded history. No snow at all? Oh, God. What I? That's not fun. Take that level up. Oh, right. I was going to do the Scorched Earth thingy. That's um, literally a technical term. We're done. I think there's still at least one or two left. That's in progress, folks. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> You're kidding me. They stuck around? Oh my god, the entire frickin' swarm stuck around and camped. Literally camped inside the train. Oh god. Uh. It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you. There's something in there. Something horrible. Well... <laughs> ...to try and find the Death Star. Grand Moff Tarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffis. <laughs> the Grand Moffis, I love it. Stand 
they're looking at me, so retrieve those stolen plans. The thief fled in an ATSP, so get moving. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'll need this. Okay. We're back. Actually, I'm reasonably certain it's because I'm streaming casual, but it's good to see you. How are things going? I hope you're doing well. Well, is everything out there all right? Winter hold is safe for now, unless I have to redo all this again. Wish I could say the same for us. Really? Tolfdir and I can try and keep this contained. You need to get your hands on the staff of Magnus. Now. Why me? You really think the staff will help? You were told to find it, weren't you? If the stories about the staff are true, if it really can absorb a tremendous amount of power, maybe we can break through on Kano's magic. Then I'm off to Labyrinthian. What? Are you... Are you sure? The staff is there. That can't be a coincidence. What coincidence? Savos. Before... Before he died. He... He gave me something just a little while ago. He told me it was from Labyrinthian and that I would know what to do with it when the time came. I think... I think he meant this for you then. I'm not sure why, but there was something very personal about it for him. I think you should take this amulet. It belonged to Savos, but I think it would do you the most good now. Take it and get out of here. Bring back that staff before Ancano brings the whole college down around us. Okay. Another proper save. So how's your, uh... I guess we can say, how's your weekend going, casual? I hope all is well with you. Got any good plans coming up? For me, it's mostly just going to be streaming and continuing my ongoing efforts to work the kinks out of the new setup that I've got. Okay, we are going to go... Well, we might as well just go with Mirror Watch again. I'm going to continue my habit of fast travel, much as it pains me. Just so that we can try and, you know, do this relatively easily. Get through it quickly. On the plus side, it looks like I think we're basically caught up now. Once we're done with the ghost parade outside the temple, we should be fine. I've returned from my contractual three month showing. Safe to say I missed being here for sure. It's hard to find some time to be here more. Weekend is full of working your second job at a local club. It is always good to see you though when you are able to be here. Oh, hello. You I'm not of you. Really guys? You can't let me get one shot in? Where'd you come from? You're good. Could use a bow that well. Okay, so far so good again. I hope things are going well with both jobs and uh, everything else. Okay, no city, just ruins. I'm gonna have 
have to snag this thing. Investigate. Awaiting discovery of a sanctuary, etc. etc. Oh. Hello. Where'd you come from? Done and It's a lot, but I'm keeping my head above water for the most part. See, we're back to Skyrim. Actually, I had to remove a mod. I'm redoing stuff, casual, because I had a good couple of hours of progress in that was undone because I had a mod installed called Brinhold, or I, I think it was called something like that. But basically what it does is it takes Labyrinthian here and turns it into a mage city. And unfortunately, I didn't read before I put that in the game that it strongly recommends that you complete the College of Winterhold quest beforehand because it's really hard to actually access the areas that you need once the city is in place. Like, it turns the whole area behind this doorway here into a college. So I had to go in and uh, disable the mod and then reload a save from before this encounter with the ghosts here, because I'm pretty sure that they opened that door there for you. And uh, I didn't have a save. Let's just get inside. I had to go back so to the one there? that I had originally started the stream with, which I ended off at, uh, you know, I think that was the New Year's stream. So I lost all the progress that I had made tonight and just had to redo it really quickly. Now, on the plus side, it only took me about 20 minutes to race through all of that because, uh... There. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. So, I needed... I needed the ghosts to allow me through the door. And now, we should be good from now on. We can finish the quest. And we'll be fine, and then I can re-enable the mod afterwards and get the mage city back again. But that was annoying. You keep talking like you're sure we'll find something useful in here. Given the history of this place, it's more than likely there's still some amount of power here. Enchanted weapons, tomes of ancient knowledge, Shalador secrets themselves. Who knows what we could find? And what if what if there are things guarding? Against six college trained mages? I think we'll be fine. And only one of them was ever heard from again. So we're good now, but the last 20 minutes have been annoying. I do love some difficulty with mods in Skyrim. Yeah, well, this was more a difficulty with not paying attention when I was installing mods just because it looked really cool. I wish I could say I'd learned my lesson, but this is probably a mistake I'll make more than once. No! You're... What oh. you got? I mean, if you guys want to rush out there... Okay. 
Okay. Actually, the dragon looks like it's kind of a pushover. Damn it. Dragon Tooth. I was expecting more from the dragon, to be honest. I thought that was going to be a little tougher. Read etched tablet. Hail all, brave city Brom Junar. Forever these walls shall stand. May enemies see her majesty. May all quake to behold her. Okay, so that's where the inspiration for the mod came from. That's cool. The Brinthian Chasm. Savos of Ren's amulet and the Ring of Replenishing. Hello? Where'd you come from? He was literally just standing there. that what some men in this young oh. don't know when it's time to give up she's not wrong some men in this just don't know when it's time to give up you just said that some friends same problem flames huh there's no way that is a clue But I don't need flames for that. Oh, hello? Oh, this place. I remember that. Destroy 
Serrano's Draugr. Okay. Why? I... I could swear I'm hearing Nernroot. But that's weird. Blood. I don't care about the embalming tools. Excuse me, Mr. Crispy. Thank you. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. But that's it? Oh. Oh, hang on. Is there a way to move that rock? Okay, there has to be an urn route around here somewhere. I'm guessing it's probably not accessible from here. It's probably an area over here that's closer. So, what? What? I just found out I will be getting eleven annual pay increase, and my job here is to spreading the love. California, that is so kind. Also, congratulations. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. What the heck? That is way too kind and generous. I really, really appreciate that. How are you doing this evening? I hope all is well with you. Hulking Draugr. Oof. Rude. Yeah, that will. Fun fact about that dented shield that uh, the Draugr was equipped with. It wasn't dented before I attacked. Ow. Rude. You leave her alone. I concur. Oh, is it already dead? Where did he come from? Oh, he was just hanging out here. I was trying to tip 20, but it converted it down to just about 15. Hey, that's not a problem. I don't know how to adjust at the end of the transaction. No need. No need. No need at all. That is, uh, that is really, really generous and really, really cool. That seems a little... Hang on. I'm going to take a look at that, though. American to Canadian, I'm assuming you're American, uh, would normally adjust so that the Canadian total is higher than the American total. Uh, 
Unless you mean you tipped in Canadian currency. Yeah, you tipped $20 Canadian, so mission accomplished. The 15 you were seeing was undoubtedly the total that it cost you in American currency. So, you did what you set out to do, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Goblets. Oh. I'll take those. Ah, and those. I'm not going to pick through and try to get every little bit, but uh, just the things that I see off the top of my head. What? Greeny! Holy crap! What the... <laughs> Thank you. What the heck? That's so amazing. Thank you for the five gift bomb. What the heck? Batai, Voidum, Rolf, Crispy, and Lion Anchor. Holy crap! That is so neat. And yes, I, uh, I, I, I guess I need to do a mass gifting alert too. That's the one I haven't done yet. So thank you. Greeny, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. Here, hang on. Guys. Guys. Uh, make sure you're following Greeny. I know the vast majority of you already are. But just in case there's anybody here who isn't. That is so kind. Make sure you go follow Greeny. He is an awesome friend of the channel. Has been for years now. If you like my kind of chill, relaxed content, you're going to love his streams. And particularly if you enjoy uh, content that's focused around RPGs specifically, then his stream is even like, you know, 10 times better than mine because he really focuses on RPGs and it's awesome. It's really, really fun. He does a lot of great games. He plays Persona, he plays Baldur's Gate. He's, you're doing a pretty massive Baldur's Gate marathon right now, which is really fantastic. Just all kinds of good stuff going on. There it is. Holy crap. Thank you. I killed dragons, yes. He's been on a bit of a dragon hunting binge lately. Until Forest Ranger Sim. Oh yeah, that one... <laughs> that's got you written all over it, doesn't it? That, uh... I, I'm curious to see... Oh. My old friend. I, uh... You kill dragons, do you? Yes, he does. Yeah, I, I'm very curious to see the Forest Ranger Sim. That's going to be fun to check out. Labyrinthian Thoroughfare. Car kill Parthernax. Hey, I've done it. Uh, I've done it. I've killed Parthernax once. Oh, no, wait. Sorry. Parthernax is friend dragon. We don't kill Parthernax here. It's the other guy. We killed him. Hello. Hello. Goes, ooh, Wraith Scythe. Okay, I'll maybe take that. One day, Greeny, I would love to see you stream Skyrim. I know your Elder Scrolls stuff is a little focused on Oblivion at the moment. 
doesn't mean you couldn't ever give Skyrim a run. It would probably be a good idea sometime before 2030, because I estimate that's the earliest we can possibly expect to receive the Elder Scrolls VI. Let me not go there. New ca oh, new capture card, yeah. Oh, you did, that's, oh, jeez, I forgot, you're right, you did, well, of course you're right, you did finish Oblivion. Sorry. Mr. Creaky McBones over there. Okay, we have ads starting in about a minute and a half, so I'm going to cut to some clips real quick, and then I'll be back, and then we'll continue through Labyrinthian. So if you guys will bear with me, I just need a few minutes. Oh, hey, our headless friend is back again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. All good. What's happening? Oh, that's so creepy. I've... I've done it. And it looks like... they know. Well... Let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh my god. They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan MacLeod. The new shell. It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking of... You be of... careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> I hope they're not here for this place. Uh, that was not me. of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not Boomer both? explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both? Both. Both. Both is good. That. Still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh, whoa. Temple Guardian. Calcium cost. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm back, and I think for the first time in a little while now, I owe you guys a story time. 
So let's see if we can get through Labyrinthian, and then we'll do a story time. And we'll take that. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Space. Failure's what makes you stronger. Not the worst fate ever. Raise the desk again. Wow. Okay, California. I'll tell you what. What we're going to do then, I like to raise the desk when I'm on break. So we're going to have a break, probably the last official real break, shortly after 3 o'clock in the morning. I will take my break then. I will raise the desk, and we will do story time, unless we end up doing story time earlier uh, because of finishing Labyrinthian or something. I can get you better and better at this, don't you think so too? You, you are not his place. Something like that, yes. Who, what, where? What are we fighting? Ah, oh, must have been this guy. Actually, that's particularly well-timed, California. The raise the desk. I stood up for a while earlier because I had another redemption for it earlier in the stream. And I was kind of thinking I could... But Weird. I think there's got to be a skeleton on the other side of the gate that we can't access yet, but it's aware of us, so it thinks we're in combat. But yeah, I, I was actually thinking I could uh, do with another standing session. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Okay, well. I'm still here. Okay. I'd like to. The yeah, there we go. Thank you. Doesn't usually take this long, does it? Fine. I give up. I don't need it that badly. Yep, that, that's pretty much what I thought. Oh, it started up here, okay. Well, that would explain how it was aware of us. Oh, crap. Is that a wisp mother? Yep, that's a wisp mother.
risk when you are fighting. Sometimes it scares me. I don't want anything to happen to you. Thank you, Vilia, but I'm fine. I'm only a little dead. Vampire bedroom. Did he warn you in your room how I would be your wrongdoing? That it would only serve to strengthen me? Sorry. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall. I chatted a couple of times up in the thread that I have to go to sleep so I won't be around for story time or raising the dusk. Oh! Sorry about that, California. Um, I don't know if you saw I have to get the bed included a bat. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry, California. Feel free to tag me if I'm, like, not getting something like that. Let me do your terrible pun or dad joke now. I totally spaced on that. It's, it's, uh, getting a little bit late, and I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> it's been a tired day all day. So I'll do the joke right now, and then I'll raise the desk before you go. What does a subservient fish know? His place. Okay, that's a foreign language joke, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do a good joke. Or a, a, a bad joke that's understandable as a joke. Okay, this one's terrible, but better. What does Charles Dickens keep in his spice rack? The best of times? The worst of times? There you go. Oh, you sent me one. What? Oh my god, uh, USD, wow, I'm so sorry, California, I did totally miss this whole message. USD to key, CAD and vice versa is wonky, got, really gotta get to bed, just stop by to spread some support, that is so, so, so appreciated. Wife is yelling at me from upstairs, seven-year-old is screaming, oh my god, going to get very little sleep, so I must remove my headphones and be an adult and go to sleep. Yeah, get going, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you waiting. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you cannot pick your friend's nose. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Have a good night, California, and my apologies to your family. Uh, seriously, you should just yell at me. I, uh, I don't want to keep you from doing what you got to do. So let me get the desk going up here. And I'll keep that up for as long as I'm able. We do have a bit of a uh, winter storm situation going on. It's minus 23 degrees here. So I don't know if I'm going to stand for that long because uh, I do have heat. We can't stop now. But it's we still pretty cool where I keep the computers. She was right behind me. Dead. Something grabbed her from behind. Gone before I could do anything. This is an insanity where you never should come. You're right. This is all my fault. Should we turn around, head back? I don't think going back is a good idea. Going back would be the end of all of us. We keep pushing forward and we'll make it. We will. Come on, you can make it. Let's go. It was minus 45 today and supposed to be zero tomorrow. That's quite the temperature shift. Face your end.
another hulking Draugr. Ow. Spell bow. No soul gel gem large enough. I don't think I've got enough drain heart swords. Ooh, drain blood battle axe. All right, I'll take one of those. So that's where we were earlier. Nothing there. The Brinthian Tribune. What is this, like the fourth area of the dungeon that we've gone into? Hey, how's it going? Good to see you again. Oh, hello. You Ow. We did well. Rude. Don't you think so? You you leave her alone. Done and done. Well, that's better than not okay. It is good to see you. I hope things improve soon so that you're better than just not, not, not okay. Card of Spiders, the worst card ever. Steadfast Ward. So, okay. Oh, crap. No. No. Crap, what was heal? It was two. weird. How did that get knocked over? I'm not complaining. I am confused.
All three of them got knocked over. That's hilarious. I love it. What? Greeny! What the heck? Greeny, you don't have to do that. That's amazing. Manders, Draws, Jessica, Poggy, you bring light in. Eon, Raptor, thank you so much for bringing them all into the ranks of the Lore Keepers. And yeah, I, uh, <laughs> listening to the gift subs where they play back to back to back to back, I really, I, I like the static, but it really needs to be toned down. I had it louder than it should be because originally that was really the dominant audio. And then I added the music because I couldn't tell the alerts apart. And yeah, with the music, the static is just way too much. So I need to tone that down a bit. So thank you, Greeny, on so many levels. That is really, really kind. Ebony gauntlets of extreme sure grip. Boiled chitin heavy armor. That looks really nasty, but pretty cool. Greeny, you're way too kind. Thank you, thank you. I think this means technically now I owe you actually two story times, don't I? If you prefer. I know you're not the biggest story time fan, Greeny. I can just leave it at one if you prefer. But we haven't done story time in quite a while. I'm thinking of trying some ideas to prompt me to get more stories written so that it's not always the same three. We're going to have to see how it goes. Well, I thought you weren't. I mean, you always seemed a little bit, not dismissive, but like it wasn't your priority, which I guess is not the same thing now that I think of it as not being interested in it. Gotcha. Oh, what is this fanciness? Honed Ancient Nord Great Sword of Scorching. Not dismissive. I said not dismissive. It just never really seemed to be your priority, which is entirely fine and appreciated, actually. But, um, still. But we can do the two story times if you like. Or we can leave it at one. Oh, hello. Don't get up. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, Greeny. That makes sense. Okay, I don't need another of those. Oh, we get a wall.
This is the second wall we found today. I think I lost the effects of the first one because I had to reload and I don't remember where we found it. That's really irritating. That's true. Some really, really good people got the things. And it's exciting to hear the difference that it does the alert for the new ones and the resubs, even when it's a gift. I actually think that's really neat. Speaking of that break, it's now after three o'clock. The break is coming up in about four minutes. So we'll do story time after that. Ooh, ebony ingots, very nice. Excuse me. Another one. came to the realization that I need to make a multi-alert. I really just need to have time to make things. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, one of the things that I'm doing, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying and only semi-succeeding to make things a little easier on myself with my current alerts than I did with my last ones where I had to record everything individually for everything. Um, left her there to die. What else could we do? Stay there and die with her? She refused to go on. We didn't have a choice. This is it, you know. Through this door. Can you feel it? We're not going to make it, are we? We stay together, no matter what. Agreed? I'll be right with you. Agreed. We all stay together. Do you now, Savos? Um, yeah, I, I was trying to make things a little easier on myself. I had in the neighborhood of 130 alerts. If I continue down the road that I'm on with the alerts that I've got now, I'm going to probably end up in the neighborhood of two to 300. But on the plus side, even though that sounds kind of ridiculous and honestly is kind of ridiculous, it's much easier to make them because a lot of them are duplicates as far as the video files are concerned. It's just differences in the text that appears with the video, not as part of the video. And I don't have to do the individual audio recordings to go with them all. So in that sense, it's a lot easier. I still have a fair number of alert videos I have to make, but not nearly as many. Oh, this area, I remember this. Let's use the bow for the first one at least. Oh, Moroke, one of the dragon priests. Ooh. He's not taking a lot of damage from the arrows, is he? Resisted Elemental Bolt. That's cheating, sir. I will not stand for this. 
That's better. Cloak of Moroke. Magicka regenerates 100% faster and time between shouts is reduced 20%. Oh, this is the one that I always feel tempted to wear. And, of course, the Staff of Magnus. Time to have time. <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 I can accept that. Hey, Slimzy. Oh, we have ads starting again. Slimzy, Skyrim is going well now. I had some hiccups earlier, but it's going pretty good right now. I do have to take a quick break, and when we get back, we're going to do story time. So if you will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few. Oh, hey, our headless friend is back again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. All good. What's happening? Oh, that's so creepy. I've... I've done it. And it looks like... they know. Well... Let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh my god. They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan MacLeod. Okay, I think I accidentally reused the same set of videos there. I apologize. Let's get out of here, because this is a loud area. I don't think there's a lot of looting to do here. Although I do need to loot the ghost bodies. And then we'll do our story time. Ghost body, where are you? He was up this way, wasn't he? There you are. Okay. Gray blade. Staff of the Deep Dramora Churl. I'm sorry, friends. I'm so sorry. I had no choice. It was the only way to make sure that monster never escaped. I promise you, I'll never let this happen again. I'll seal this whole place away. Sort of, Slimzy. I'm a mage build. I am using... I, I am using the bound bow spell quite a bit, though. Partly because uh, with crowd control enabled and the occasional charity event that allows people to forbid me from using various types of magic, it's good to have backup systems in place in case my destruction or conjuration or whatever happens to be forbidden. Uh... 
Hello? So, you made it out of there alive. Ancano was right. You are dangerous. I'm afraid I'll have to take that stuff from you now. Ancano wants it kept safe. Oh, and he wants you dead. Nothing personal. I don't remember him. I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid you do. Your funeral, sir. Okay, then. There's probably looting to be done here. Yes, there is. Chicken wing. How the heck are you doing, by the way? Uh, we should be just about out of here. As soon as we get out of here, I will save... And we will do a proper story time. You get no dignity in death, sir. You were a massive jerk. Okay. And that's that. Another dragon priest mask to line my walls with. Although, it's gonna be really freaking hard not to. Uh, oh god. Not true. You saw this when we came in. But now, no more distractions. We're going to do our very first test of my new setup for story time, which is still the old setup for story time, but uh, it's new in my configuration. So bear with me. Yes, uh, uh, the new Legend Edition. What do you mean by new Legend Edition? This is the... Um, this is Skyrim Special Edition, but it's fully upgraded with all of the content for the Anniversary Edition, if that makes sense. Plus, I've, of course, because it's Skyrim, I've modded the hell out of it as well. All right, folks. We're going to do story time. Greeny, you get to pick. Which story would you prefer? Because it's been quite a while. Uh, this is, in fact, I believe the very first story time that we've done in 2023. So, which story would you like to go with? Or if you prefer, I can just uh, pick myself. Either way. Oh. Just realizing, I hope that... Um, I hope that they all work properly, in the sense that I haven't had a chance to look at them really, and make sure that everything is still linked correctly. <laughs> okay. Um, anniversary edition. Not sure I want to buy it three times. Oh, well, you know, that's fair. That's, that's entirely fair. If you have the special edition, though, the anniversary edition, you can get for free. However, uh, you don't necessarily get all of the content for it. You have to buy a little bit of an upgrade, but it's not like buying a whole new copy of the game again. It's you know, you, you pay a small bit, relatively small compared to the price of the full game, and you just get all of the Creation Club content for the game and some stuff. And uh, I think it's pretty worth it, but, you know, you would probably be well advised to take a look at what you get with it and see if it's something that you would want to pay for. Not everybody is. I know there were a few people when it first came out who played it and they were disappointed by what they got. Uh, I was not one of them. I think it's great, but, you know, your mileage may vary. We're going to do, unless Greeny has a different preference, we're going to do A Curious Case of the Buried Books. So let me just get that open for myself. Uh, come on, game. I need control of the desktop back. One moment. 
I am so well equipped. Here we are. Okay. The Pelican Chronicles, Volume 1, The Curious Case of the Buried Books. You did not, Hilaria exclaimed. I refuse to believe it. Oh, I sure did, Jodori said matter-of-factly. The hint of a blush was absolutely not creeping over his slightly coppery, hard, dwarven features. You're telling me you, Mr. Unshakable, Mr. Stability himself, got caught in an unstable frame? Jodori sighed. There was extenuating circumstances. I was younger then, less experienced. See, I'd heard about these buried books being dug up. I should have known it involved digging, Hilaria chuckled. I buried treasure and all. Well, I got my reality stabilizer and went to this odd world with a tiny town. Pelican Town was the name, if I remember correct. Right beautiful place it was, but also the most unstable world I ever ran into. But I'll get to that. Right away, I see dwarven hands at work. No human would ever have noticed, but it stood out to me straight away. Carved and shaped stones around town, definitely of dwarf make, but not a dwarf to be seen, nor elves. Just humans. He sighed a bit and lifted his mug from the table in the library break room. I expect if there were dwarves in the area, they were simply deeper down, he continued. But anyway, I started asking around town after the books. Nice folk, very welcoming of strangers. They weren't surprised to see one of your kind, Hilaria asked, then took a small nibble out of a stick of shortbread. Nah, though I didn't go out of my way to call attention to myself either. I think they just took me for a short man. Anyway, mostly they were pretty helpful, though the shopkeep fella, Pierre, I think his name was, he seemed a bit put off when he found out I wasn't buying anything. And before you start, he said as Hilaria seemed about to interrupt, I know, even back then I knew enough to always try and buy when asking around after things. But this place? Set up to supply farmers and households. Nothing I needed, nothing I could use. Hilaria simply nodded, listening intently, and continued eating her biscuit and sipping on a steaming mug of coffee. So I didn't get much from him. There was this one black fellow, though, Demetrius. Real smart. I figure he might have known what I was. Was doing studies out around town with his daughter Maru. Neither of them seemed surprised when I asked about people digging up books around their town, and they gave me a couple of leads. A farmer who'd just arrived earlier in the year, and Gunther, curator of the local museum and library. Gunther was too busy to know much about it, but he'd asked the farmer to keep an eye out for stuff to fill the shelves with. The farmer had already donated a few books and museum displays and things. Gunther directed me to the farm, and that's when things got weird. So I went up to the farmer, and my dimensional tracker went all blitzed up on me. The farmer wasn't one person, not all at once, anyway. Kept phasing between different folk. Hilaria's eyes grew wide. I've heard of things like that. Individual people or places with only a weak connection to the world? Aye, the farmer was a weak connector, and to a lesser extent, the farm itself was too. It was making me slip between frames of the world, going from one instance... Uh... One instance... Crap, this is what I was afraid of. One moment, please. Technical difficulties. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, it's not the tef technical difficulty I thought it was. I apologize. What the heck? There we go. Okay. From one instance to another where the farmer was someone completely different. A man in one to a lady in another than a weird blue person the next. Made my head spin. I'd never run into any such thing before. Alara snort laughed while sipping coffee, which only made her laugh harder. Sorry, sorry. I'm picturing you alone in a strange world with an improperly set stabilizer trying to work out why things are changing in front of your eyes. Hey, I said I didn't have much experience, all right? Jodori grumped. I know, she said. It's just hard to imagine you without experience. Hmm. Well, we all gotta learn at some point. Anyway, after a while of trying to make sense of it, I finally thought to fiddle with the reality stabilizer. It wasn't more than a minute, maybe two, before I found myself firmly in Farmer Gord's world. Hilaria's sharp elven eyebrows rose. Farmer Gord? Interesting. Aye, a fascinating coincidence. He quieted a moment, glancing off through the library walls in the general direction of the head librarian's office. He knew about the books, though. Had just dug one up the day before I arrived. Said he always just knew to wh where to dig to find things. Books, historical artifacts, fossils, minerals. Ground always looked marked to him. That's much as it is for my people. Almost wondered if he had some dwarf blood in him. 
but it also made me wonder about the instability. I took a walk around the town, found the ruins of some old community center, run-down place, but it was a bit unstable itself. The dimensional tracker marked it straight away. The building, but also clusters of little moving signals inside it, like rats or some such. It was locked, so I couldn't check inside. Not far outside of it, I found a bit of marked ground, just as Farmer Gord described, and in the ground, a book. An unwrapped, unprotected book on a rainy day, not getting wet, not getting dirty. I'd never seen anything like it. Haven't since, neither. Halera was tidying up her dishes. It was nearly time to get back to work. The Library of Laura's bookkeeping wasn't going to do itself, unfortunately. She paused. Mysterious buried books appearing completely clean and intact, regardless of the conditions they're found in, associated with an area of interworld instability. Jodori nodded slowly, eyes sparkling and a hint of a smile on his face. She snapped quick, slender fingers. They're a symptom of that same instability, the dwarf nodded. That's my best conclusion. Probably happened that in a wide band of nearly identical alternate worlds, over time a few books were lost. But these worlds hold unusual magics and that touch of instability. The lost books bled over and appear throughout the whole band of worlds, and they can repeat, too. I went back a few times. Farmer Gord reported finding several of the same volumes a few times each over the next couple of years. A fascinating story, Judd. Thank you for sharing it. I'm certainly glad you closed the book on that one. Alara deadpanned. Jodori gritted his teeth and managed to respond with nothing but a grunt of deep spiritual pain until they were back at their desks in the library's financial offices. Ah, there you go, folks. I apologize. Uh, crap. Oh. Um, there we go. <laughs> that was my fault. Clearly, I have some stuff I have to go through again. Yes, I did write this, Slimzy. I am a writer. And that's not exactly my best work. It's kind of quick, but that is mine. Soonish, yes. Yeah, soonish is the key word there, Tagarong. I need to stop making myself so ridiculously busy with everything. But that's not so easy to do. I've been saying I'm going to write more for a long time now. And I mean it. I sincerely want to write more. It's just, you know, wanting and actually doing are two different things. Okay. Whoops. So again, thank you, Greeny. Oh, this is barely scary at all compared to what we've faced before, Velia. Conjuration increased to 70. Seemed like an easy enough job. Graz and me done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wants bodyguards for a trip into the mountains. Fine. Easy clink for us. He goes on about this twice-forsaken mask of his the whole way, of course. Got a pretty good laugh when Graz snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Not smart out here on your own. He realized that right fast and shut up about not paying. Thank you, Slimzy. I have some ideas on how I can speed things up a little bit, make it a little easier for myself. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? It's good to see you. There should be at least one more troll, probably more than one. There you are.
conjuration. Nice. Now, how do I get down from here is my next question. Ah, that'll do. Okay. Now let's have a look at the map. Dawnstar. Yeah, let's see if we can just basically follow the road the whole way. Temple way up there? Might be. So actually, speaking of story time and reading things to people and whatnot, I occasionally get requests to do that kind of thing. Usually in Skyrim, uh, we've had charity incentives where I do read the books from Skyrim and whatnot. Hello. I'll take that. You don't need it. Would you guys have much interest in... Elder Scrolls lore reading videos. Hello. I think that would be a fun thing that I could set up relatively easily. I'm gonna talk with Lydia here first. I've got your back. I am sworn to oh, what the heck? Ultra! What the heck? Welcome on in. Hang on just one moment. Um, okay, hang on. This is good. Okay. Ultra, what the heck? Thank you so much. It's, I think there's a woman who already does that. Oh, there's all kinds of people that do that. It's not just one person. Ultra, what the heck? How are you doing? How was your stream? What were you playing? Please tell me all about it. What have you been up to? How did everything go? Give me all the details. How is your weekend looking? How has your week been? Guys, if you don't know Ultrasaurus, then clearly you have not been hanging out here for very long. She's a longtime friend of the channel at this point. We love her very much. She does awesome content. She does a lot of driving and farming games. She used to do a lot of dinosaur games. You might tell from her name she's a little bit of a dinosaur fan. She has just really fun, chill, relaxing, really good time kind of content that uh, she gets up to. And so you definitely need to go give her a follow. Have we already gotten shout outs? Yes, we've gotten shout outs for Ultra. Thank you very much, folks. I really appreciate that. Poggy, how's it going? It's good to see you. 
It was okay. I landed fighter planes in DCS perfectly every single time. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it, Ultra. And chat was very supportive. They always are. And not distracting. <laughs> As chat tends to be. Very supportive and not distracting. I'm not surprised at all. Not distracting. That means we can try harder. How's it going, Mana? It's good to see you. Folks, if you are new here, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I throw in real-life actual brick Lego building streams. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button, and I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Way. What the heck? What? Greeny! What the heck? Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Mana. That it, it's you are way too kind, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That is so appreciated. Here's the video. Well come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here, muting and all. Uh, I'm, I apologize, folks. I have all new alerts, 
and I also have an all new audio system and I'm still learning how to use all of it. So I'm getting a lot better. Every stream is fewer and fewer problems, but I figure it'll probably be a couple of weeks before I get everything settled out and polished off and finalized and really good. So thank you for your indulgence and your patience in the time for the in, for the time being. Oh, right. Uh, I was talking to Lydia because thank you. I need uh, to I am sworn to carry your burdens. I'm holding you to that. I need to give you some crap. We must have a bunch of stuff I can give her. I'm trusting her with the dragon priest masks. Lead on. I'm I'm trusting that Lydia is not going to go on to become a new dark lord or something. We'll have to see if that holds up. We've stopped. What is it? No, no, the mic cable is fine, Mana. It's just I my old mixer died which is why I had had so many audio issues for months, I believe. And so I got the Wave XLR and I got the, um, you know, I got the, oh, what the heck? Right. Chad is never distracting, no, not ever, never distracting, no. Nope, never distracting. Thank you, Tegro. <laughs> oh, man. If you do exclamation point TTS, you can find out about that, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Have you heard the stories about the headless huntsman who's roaming Skyrim at nights? Scary, isn't it? Vilya, we've run into the Headless Huntsman any number of times already. They say that he chops off people's heads? Scary. I can assure you that this is entirely false. Lydia. If you say so. We've seen him. Several times. Remember that time that he was off his horse and had to run to catch up to it? But yeah, basically the long and short of it is um, everything on my end is pretty new. I have the, the Wave XLR and I've also picked up, uh, because my birthday is coming up. Oh, oh crap, these guys. Oh, or I could just let the wolves kill them. Leave some for me. Man, I don't think they left one for me. That's rude. Hey, I like this guy's taste in spells, though. Pale Shadow's amazing. Let's... But yeah, because my birthday is coming up, um, and my mixer died. I got the Wave XLR to replace the mixer, and I got the Stream Deck Plus as a control mechanism for it. And it's amazing. But it means that instead of two audio controls, mute and unmute, I've now got like 50,000 of them. So it's going to take me a while. Love Lydia, she can't die. Actually, I've one of the mods that I've got in this game means that nobody can die unless they're supposed to die because they're a monster or something. Yes, let's go with 40th Slimzy. I like that. There we go. This time I killed it too fast and they didn't get to do anything. Oh, we have a thing. We have to get the thing. I think this one's going to give me more perk points I can use too. So that's an extra bonus.
Shamrock, what? What the heck? At one point, Gord knew he knew it was time to be an amazing streamer and a good friend, so he shot that guy in the face. That's not wrong. I feel the power of the sky shard uh, flowing through me as I absorb it. Okay, let's... We've done a lot of destruction, and that's cool. Where is... Conjuration. I'd love to see what more we can do. What? Oh god. Colon. At one point, Lord knew. He knew. It was time to be an amazing streamer and a good friend. He shot that guy in the face. <laughs> that was a great one, Greeny. <laughs> I l oh, shoot. We have ads in progress, though. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Camera mode. That's not at all what I wanted. Although... Well, that was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. Portal on your mark. Where that boat went. Nice. Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll need this. Manual of style? Be nuts. Okay, sorry about that, folks. We are back. Okay, so we were picking what I was going to grab. Dark Whispers. Bound weapons induce a battle rage in the wielder, granting 20% extra attack damage and 100 points of armor rating for 5 seconds when a target is struck. That sounds more like a melee wielder's bound perk. Not really so much an archer. Dead Tide. Maximum number of skeletons. I don't really use them. No, okay. I don't love most of the Conjuration stuff. Thank you, Vikings. Um, I guess I could do some archery stuff. Since I am using that more. Oh, and sneak is always... No, not luck. Well, maybe lockpicking, but sneak is good too. Right behind you. You are adept at hiding in your target's blind spot. Sneaking is 15% more effective within 9 meters and 30% more effective within 4.5 meters. 
You know what? Let's do that one. So that opens up disengage behind enemy lines, smoke screen, clean escape, and problem solver. Oh, no, I think I've already got problem solver. When you stand still for eight seconds while sneaking, enemies within 45 meters no longer search for you. That's awesome. Breaking invisibility with a power attack is a guaranteed critical strike that deals 50% more critical damage. Damn. Grants the laughing ghost power at will while sneaking. Teleport through the shadows behind a target to attempt a sneak power attack with your right weapon that deals double sneak attack damage. Target must be out of combat. That would be amazing if I ever meleeed it all, but I never do. So that's a potentially amazing power that I just can't... Oh, wait. Legendary? I can do... You know what? This is going to maybe sound crazy to you guys. I only in the last few weeks learned that legendary skills in Skyrim are a thing. I never knew. Making a skill legendary will set it to 15 and return its perks. Yes. And the reason we're doing that... I've heard a little bit about the theory of legendary, and people say you should never legendary sneak, but I don't think they count on my playstyle, where I'm constantly just sneaking all the time anyway. So it makes more sense for me than it does for your average Skyrim player. So I guess the question now is, I've got, what was it, seven banked skill points that, or uh, perk points rather, that I could invest in other skills? Or would it maybe be better to keep those points and just reinvest them in sneak as I level it up? Because I do tend to level it fairly fast. Uh, damn it. I know there's a trade-off for it, Tagarung. Returning it to 15 and returning all your perk points sounds rough, but making it legendary does make it more effective. I'm just blanking on how. Hello? I just frickin' one-shot that thing. What? What? was at this point that go and you but then Gord realized he had webbing coming out of his old decrepit wrists because of age i hope i did this correctly oh my god that's amazing greeny <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious i love that <laughs> That's I, I don't think that's ever going to stop cracking me up whenever you guys do that. Thank you so much. Holy crap. <laughs> it did work. <laughs> um, here, let me see this. Yeah, I know about that TTS thing. I, I started using that because of another Twitch friend of mine. If you guys are familiar with Tibic, she's pretty awesome. Let's find out. Skyrim Legendary Skills. Um, legendary Skills. Pros, Cons. Okay, guys. Legendary skills is a mechanic introduced in Skyrim with patch 1.9. Prior to this patch, the maximum level of a character was 81 without console commands. 
Uh, okay, once a skill has reached level 100, it can be made legendary. This resets the skill back to level 15 and refunds any perk points that were spent in that skill tree. The dragon symbol commonly associated with the Imperial Legion will be displayed under the skill's name, indicating it has been made legendary, and a number appears beside it to track how many times this has occurred. Legendary skills level up normally and have no added benefits compared with non-legendary skills. Interesting. When a legendary skill is mastered, it can be made legendary again. This effectively removes any level cap, since the player can continue to maximize then reset skills an infinite number of times. It also allows them to level using only a small number of skills so they can level while ignoring unwanted skills or focus on easily leveled skills for faster level gain. Pros. Skills outside of the preferred playstyle no longer need to be leveled to continue increasing the overall level. The overall level cap is removed. Gives the option of a perk reset like the ones found in Elder Scrolls V Dragonborn, although crude in execution. Okay. So... I guess it's just you get to continue leveling it forever then. That's fine. I'm pretty okay with uh, sneak resetting like that, frankly. You killed the dr Shadow Dragon last night. Yeah, you had mentioned that. I popped in there. That was pretty awesome. I've... I... 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 Uh, what the heck? Oh, okay. There we go. Love the BG... Yeah. Oh. Hello. Greeny's Baldur's Gate 2 playthrough is really fun to watch. I've been having a good time hanging out in his streams for that. Oh, God. Another one. All right, Ultra. All right. We can do that. Where is my joke book? It's a lot of lore. It is. It is. Okay. Terrible pun or dad joke. Brace yourselves, folks. Ooh, no, not this one. Why was the man arrested for hanging around too long at the circus? For loitering within a tent. I think that was sufficiently terrible. <laughs> You're leaving. Okay, Ultra. It was nice having you here. Once they added the ability to reset perk point distribution in the Dragonborn DLC using a Dragon Soul, legendary skills were kind of unnecessary. That's okay. Thank you, Greeny. I appreciate the Ultra shoutouts. Ultra gets all the shoutouts. So does Greeny. Both of them. Same Slimzy. I was actually just talking to chat before you arrived, Ultra. I'm thinking about other ways that I can do YouTube and TikTok stuff. And I'm considering doing Skyrim and basically Elder Scrolls lore videos where I just read the books. trying to gauge interest in that because honestly that's one of the reasons that Skyrim is one of the earliest games I ever streamed I always kind of had it in the back of my mind that it would be fun to read the books on stream and we've done that a number of times I've read a few of them you would be down for that awesome oh we're here we've been here before so right now, if you guys are curious what the heck I'm doing sneaking around in the middle of the snowy wilderness in Skyrim, I just completed Labyrinthian. 
Uh, is this a brigand compound? This is where I might regret having... Or they might just ignore me. You picked a bad time to get lost. Looky here. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Oh! Where'd you come from? Oh, is something going on back there? Okay, fine. Whatever. What do you mean, that well? I shot one frickin' arrow. I did nothing. You guys did all the heavy lifting here. I just tried to ignore that anything was going on. What? I do have a YouTube. I have two YouTubes, <laughs> actually. And if I do the lore reading stuff, I will probably do more than one. I'll, I'll probably add another uh, separate account for that. Aluminum Lion, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. There we go. You're acting like you need our approval to do what you obviously want to do. You, you're at the captain now. Read the books. Oh, I'm not. I'm not seeking your permission. I'm just trying to gauge the relative level of interest because. Believe it or not, yes, I can decide to do whatever the hell I want to do, damn the consequences. But if there's zero interest in doing it, then it might prove to be an uphill battle and it might not be worth my time to do it. But it seems like there is at least some interest in it, and so it's probably worth doing. So I just might go ahead and do it anyway. What's a TikTok? <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure. I just kind of ignore what most people are doing on TikTok and do my own thing, and fortunately a few people seem to like it. But there's a lot of stuff going on over there. I haven't the faintest idea. I don't really pay that much attention. Where are we? Okay. We're getting there. Gord is much better at these things. I don't know that that's necessarily true. I think I'm pretty bad at a lot of this stuff. I just don't let that stop me, and I go and I do it anyway. And then eventually I gradually improve. I mean, honestly, I think that's all anybody ever does, really. Have you watched The Last of Us yet? I have not seen episode three. Uh, I keep hearing really good things about it. I've been lucky. I haven't been terribly spoiled on it yet, but I have not seen episode three. I absolutely loved episodes one and two. It's so, so good. So I really need to catch the newest episode. But yeah, it's, uh, it's so Come amazing. Traveler. Nope. Over here. Nope. I don't really want beer. Thanks. Literally best TV episode I have ever seen. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to watch that this weekend, Ultra. You have been loving the show and have never played the games. I played the first game a few years ago. I played that in 2020. And it was really, really good. But then the same thing happened as happened when I played through Telltale's The Walking Dead. I streamed that a long time ago. And that was... I guess probably a lot of you don't even know that I streamed that game because it was an earlier game that I streamed. It must have been probably 2015, maybe 2016 when I played that one. 
But um, basically, it was a ridiculously well done game with incredible writing and incredible voice performances, and it was just beautiful in every way. But it was an awful lot of creative energy put directed towards making you feel like crap for most of the experience, with you know bright points here and there, just so that you don't go completely depressed and commit suicide or something terrible. But you know, overall, it just makes you feel so bad. And so I played through the first one, and I played through 400 days. I only made it through the first episode of the second Walking Dead series game, and then I was done with it. I just thought, okay, uh, I, I, I can't really take much more of this. It's good, but I can't. And so I just stopped playing at that point. And then I had the same reaction when I got done playing The Last of Us. I didn't play the DLC for the first one. I never went back and did that. And I've really had no urge to play The Last of Us Part 2. But I will admit that watching the TV show is making me think that maybe I could give it another shot. Because it's just so good. My aunt has been watching it. I'm kind of zombied out at the moment. That's fair, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Episode 3 was really quite well made. Apparently Last of Us is coming to PC next month. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This has nothing to do with Star Wars? That's okay. Please DM me your thoughts when you're done watching it. Legit, it was just wow. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Wait. We're trying to go... Oh. What are you? Oh, you're a giant. That's okay. Um, I don't think we wanted to turn here. We're trying to go... Shoot. Yeah, I wanted to actually... I wanted to stay on the road up there. Damn it. We're going back to the college. We're not going home. Nineteen twenty three the Yellowstone prequel. I've never seen Yellowstone. I was actually gonna start watching it recently, but the streaming service I have that carries it only has the latest season. They don't have the first four, which is kind of obnoxious. I would say even if you're zombie dead, the show is so focused more on the people in their story, it wouldn't be like The Walking Dead. No, that's true. Actually, that's one of the things that surprises me about it. For a game that has well, actually, you know, come to think of it, I don't know if it's true for the second game. Even the first game, you really only encounter zombies in a few limited contexts. You know, you get the occasional encounter with them, but they tend to be pretty contained. And the vast majority of the rest of the game, it's all really just the people. Wow. That what was happened? abrupt. Oh, Stormcloak's... But he was a prisoner. Wow, guys. Strange. I'm all pro-imperial and whatnot, but that was kind of abrupt. Might do Last of Us on PC next month, but capture card Octopath Traveler 2. Dude. And the next Zelda and hoping I bust past where I am. Yeah, Greeny, yeah. Not, well, I mean, you can argue the strict definition of zombies all you want, but for all intents and purposes, they are zombies, Slimzy. I mean, that's, you can make the same arguments for a lot of different zombie fiction, like um, 28 Days Later. It's more of a rage virus than actual zombies. I mean, at least The Last of Us zombies have one thing that no other type of zombie movie in recent history can boast, and that is that it's based on actual science. I mean, they've twisted it all to hell and it wouldn't work in real life, but it's still actually just based on real science, at least. The only thing I can think of that can say something even remotely similar would maybe be the zombies from the Wreck series, which... Uh, you know, they're not based on cordyceps fungus or anything like that, but they are based on, you know, the premise that a mutated strain of rabies is causing it. So there's a parallel there, at least, because there's genuine science there, too, even if it's just as contorted.
So you just have to kind of look at it as, yeah, they're zombies. They're just a somewhat different kind of zombie. Oh, uh, we have ads starting again. We're after 4 o'clock. I really want to get this quest line done, so I'm going to try and finish it. I'll be back in just a few minutes, folks. I'm going to put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to... Uh, wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. What do you mean you can't reach my frickin' location? Right. Coming. Oh. Okay. Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. I love that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. Maybe if I run real fast, we can just clear right through there. Okay. Maybe. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. some cooking. Un oh, shoot. Uh. Okay, I'm back. Is Frankenstein's monster a zombie? I think Frankenstein's monster predates the concept of modern zombies. The only zombie concept that I know of that existed back then would have been the zombies in the voodoo culture, which it really doesn't resemble in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so we want to go this away. That's weird. Strange. Yes, that is strange. Weird. I wonder if that's the horse from the Stormcloak soldier that got murdered a while back. Did No, that actually wouldn't even have happened, come to think of it, because that was before I was forced to reload. Maybe he's left over from whatever happened here. Bandit leader? Wait. No. I, I'm, we're not doing that now. We're on a mission. We're going to the college. And that's the end of it. Wouldn't it be nice just talk a little, you and I? No. Not right now, at least. Eventually, yes. It was funny, earlier in the stream, actually, before I was forced to reload because of stuff, Vilya actually called me out because every time she says, wouldn't it be nice to talk, I just say no. She actually called me out on it. It's the first time she's ever done that. I went to the hunting expo today and they've come a long way in the sleeping bag and tents. 
scopes and binoculars. What have they done with sleeping bags and tents? I'm curious about that, seeing as we're in ridiculously cold temperatures. I don't know what it's like where you guys are. Right now, I'm clocking minus 22. Again? No, thank you. We're good. Another time, perhaps. It's minus 22 C here. Which, you know, it's it's far from unheard of. We get that occasionally. But it's by far the lowest it's been this year, this winter. We've had a generally pretty craptastic warm winter. Wait, what is that glowy thingy? Oh, I know what that, um. What is that? I know what the area is, but why is it all glowy? We'll come back and investigate later. Can't get distracted from the mission. So if I remember correctly, what makes a zombie is a lack of free will. In voodoo, the soul of the person is captured by the practitioner in the empty vessel left behind is bound to their will. Okay. That's, that's a workable premise. And it would hold true for The Last of Us zombies as well. It's just that in place of a human practitioner of Voodoo, taking away the free will of the, uh, the, the, the victim, it's a fungus that takes away the will of the victim and bends it to its own. So if you go by that particular definition, then yes, The Last of Us, they are zombies. Who are you? Why are you waiting here? And why is it me you're waiting for? What's up? Greetings, sister. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. What have you got? Take a look. Uh, do I have money? Oh, I actually do have money. Thank you. All right, then. And the rage zombies in 28 days later? Yep, that's true. Sleeping bag is made of some material I know nothing about, but it keeps you warm to minus 20. It looks like a mummy bag. That's awesome. That actually sounds pretty appealing right now. Although, I have to admit, my biggest problem when I'm sleeping, even in temperatures like this, is keeping cool enough. I, I run very hot. Which makes summer just endless misery for me. But even in temperatures like this, like, I'll go to bed and it might, now that it's minus 22 degrees outside, it might be cold enough for me to actually keep a comforter over my entire body, head to toe. Maybe. It's still quite possible I might have to leave an arm, two arms, a leg outside of the comforter zone so that I can lose heat fast enough. What the heck? Why do we have more of these things? Oh, my God. No soul gem large enough, so I actually... Oh, wow. the heck? Where is Tolfdeer?
Twelve deer. Are you the one that fell off the b battlements? Where are you? You did fall off. You survived. You have it then? Let's hope it's as powerful as the Sidics believe it to be. Why are you all the way out here, and why did you fall off? Look for yourself. Ancano's power is growing. We can't crack whatever magic he's using to shield himself. I hope your trip to Labyrinthian was worth it. Where's Mirabel? She... she didn't make it. When it was clear we were going to have to fall back, she stayed behind and made sure the rest of us were all right. Let's get in there. I'll be right behind you. Okay. I guess we have to use it then. Where is Staff of Magus? Oh, I guess that would be weapon, not armor. I like having my body warm yet breathe cold air. So do I. It's just that my body tends to be way too warm. How could this happen? I'll be amazed if any of us survive this. I'll be amazed if any of us survive this. Nope, that was not what I wanted. Standing in your way. Oh, sorry. Reach the Hall I'm of not Elements. Sure I believe that crap anymore about Nords being less able to learn magic. Just look at Armand. He's a Nord, right? And he can cast spells. That's true, Vilja. It was cold here in Utah early this week. Three degrees with a minus 23 wind chill. We're back to 35 now, so you can get our cold now, I guess. Yep, I believe you're right, Mr. Soggy Raman. Do I still have the fancy mask? Who did I give it to? It was... You can do anything about it? Uh, so not Lydia. No, it was... Um, oh, it's nice. yes, no, talking. not you. Where's Uthgird? I want the fancy mask back. I think it was you. It was not you. Damn it. Let's go. Yes? Fine. Whatever. I'm not doing a whole lot to him. Do I have to actually use the rod? The staff, the whatever, the thing, the doodad. I think I'm going to have to favorite this. Uh, where's the Staff of Magnus? We're gonna make that... Three, because I'm not using the bow. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, Akvi, thank you. I have done this countless times before, but somehow I forgot about that. It's been a while, admittedly. Oh, right. I forgot. I can't actually die. Oh, shoot. I can't actually die. 
Okay, okay. Looks like it's not going to be a problem after all. Oh, damn it. Ancano is going to get a buff now, so he's going to be harder to defeat. I stumble into the nearest temple seeking healing for my wounds. Ancano is not worth my time or energy. Unfortunately, that's not really true, game. He really is worth my time and energy, sadly. Uh, why am I... What happened? Four... Oh, damn it! I lost gear. Shoot. Hopefully we're still in Winterhold. If we're not... Oh, dear God. It put me in Riften! <laughs> so much for the nearest temple. Surely there was one closer than Riften. Are you hungry? I could make a meal for you if you like. No, thank you. My god. Of course. Sure. As you wish. Ugh. Okay, that'll do. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall. Now, can I fast travel? We have to go back. We'll just go there. No, I, I've got companions that can haul stuff. It's just me forgetting about all the stuff that I've done to the game with mods. I don't think I can remember the last time I had to fast travel as much as I've fast traveled today. Wow. <laughs> Greetings. Come on. What was that? Okay. What you get? I'm not afraid of you. Okay, that was much easier. I knew you could do it. Mama C, it's good to see you. How are you doing? I won't be on for a whole lot longer, but I will be on for at least a little bit. How are you doing tonight aside from the um oh Una's backpack? There we go, that's all my stuff. How are you doing aside from the insomnia? Folks, Mama C is another amazing streamer, so if you're not following her, make sure you go give her a follow. She is awesome. You will not regret it. Can we get some shout outs for Mama C? What do we do now? I I don't know. Ancano is gone, but whatever he's done to the eye doesn't seem to have stopped. I have no idea what to do. 
Oh no, COVID got you? Yeah, oh, I remember you saying something about that now. That, yeah. I'm so sorry about that. What? Oh, hi. We knew you would succeed. Your victory here justifies our belief in you. You have proven yourself more than worthy to guide the College of Winterhold. What do we do now? How did you know I'd be able to defeat Ankeno? A great many things obscured to you are quite clear to us. We have long believed you would prevail. What do we do now? The eye has grown unstable. It cannot remain here or else it may destroy your college and this world. It must be secured. Onkano's actions prove that the world is not ready for such a thing. We shall safeguard it, for now. You now have the opportunity to maintain your college and carry on with your lives. You have our gratitude, Archmage. There we go. Affected his ma oh my god, his asthma. Oh, jeez. You got horribly ill but have been taking care of yourself using herbal remedies. Starting to feel better. Oh, that's good. That's really good, Mama C. I'm glad to hear that. Here, let me get you shoutouts. I can't even imagine going through COVID with, uh, well, honestly, I, I have managed to never have COVID, so far at least, so I can't imagine having it at all, let alone with asthma. That's just got to be an extra layer of suck. You've done it. The college is safe again thanks to your work. I knew you had it in you. I dare say the Sidics are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage, in my opinion. Here, consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. I shall be here for advice, should you need me. Oh! Oops. That was why I couldn't loot him. You weren't supposed to loot him. They give you the robes separately later. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. I've got a spare set. That means I can get the enchantments off them. <laughs> oh, you have asthma as well. Oh, God, Mama C. Oh, that's horrible. I'm so glad it didn't hit you quite as bad. Okay, we've got that. Um... I guess this is ours now. Well, it's not so much removing the enchantments achieve, um, Akvi. It's it's more that you destroy the item and learn the enchantments that were on it in the process. Oh, I thought that was a loading screen. I should know better. Laughing at the robe thing, not the asthma. Yeah, yeah. That's how I read it. Imperial report on Sarthal. So, you're the new Archmage. That's great. Although, I hope you don't expect me to bow to your honor. We'll talk about that. Bosmer full cape. Another set of Archmage's robes. Do you want me to I could play some music? Sure, why not? Oh, an unusual gem. I will take one. Plenty more books. Have I read all of these? Nope. Never read that one. Horker attacks. Ingle and the Sea Ghosts. The Wisp Mother. I think most of them I've probably read by now. Intimate Magics. Oh my. 
Scourge of the Grey Quarter. The Amulet of Kings. Alduin is real, and he ain't Akatosh. <clears throat> Not sure you can learn that enchantment in vanilla. Define vanilla. Oh, quality potion of fortify enchanting. Very nice. Lots of potions. Lots of stuff. What the heck? Is that a gem? It's mine now. Cooked horker loaf. Staff of the Fra Frost Actronach. Oh, nice. Tribunal mask, bronze. Vardenfell glass armor. You know, there aren't as many books as I might have expected. There's only a few. Weird. Oh. Okay. For some reason, I thought there were going to be more, but that's fine. Base game with DLC, you may have a mod, though. Oh, I have no idea if I can actually get the enchantment or not. I was just speculating. I didn't realize that there might be a potential problem getting that particular one. But now, apparently, if I'm not mistaken, I should have three sets of Archmage's robes. Oh, there's... And it looks like there's two variations. So I'm using the superior version... They gave me this version. All spells cost 15% less to cast. Magicka regenerates 100% faster. Then there's also the one that increases Magicka by 50 points on top of all of that. And I've got two of those. The one I'm wearing and one that I just picked up in the, uh, in the quarters. So whether or not I can actually destroy the item and get the enchantment, that's another issue entirely. But I can always save, try it. If it fails, reload. Not a big deal. Okay, however, we're now getting to the point where it's well after 4.30 in the morning. I'm getting pretty tired. I was tired hours ago. <laughs> Forget getting tired now. I think I need to call it a night, so why don't we find somebody awesome to stream before we get our next break coming up. So I'm just going to snooze the ads that we're going to be starting in two, mo two more minutes. And let's see who we've got online. I think tonight I wouldn't mind maybe trying to raid somebody that we don't usually get a chance to raid or maybe even that we don't know at all. I, I, I've been talking with some folks and I'm coming to realize that our stream community is a little bit insular on my end. I don't ever raid anybody new and I think we're kind of missing out because of that. And tonight looks like it might actually be not a bad night for that because I don't really know very many people that are on tonight. Oh, Lax is on. He's playing Horizon Forbidden West. But then we've got vast fields of people that I don't know very well. Oh, thank you, JH. 
There are a few people on that we don't get to raid very often that we have raided before, but uh, that they're not, you know, they're, they're, we don't see as much. Like Lunady is on. She's playing Uncharted, The Last, The Lost Legacy. Why don't we go raid her? And then maybe tomorrow we'll actually delve into the unknown and find somebody we've never, we've genuinely never raided before. It's been a while for Lunity, and we haven't raided her very often. So that's a good first step. So we'll go see how Uncharted is treating her. Uh, okay, so let me get you her link. There's no one I've got you wouldn't already know. That's fine. That's okay. What I'm thinking is, I don't know what game we're playing tomorrow, but uh, maybe we'll just check the directory and see if we can find somebody that looks potentially interesting for a raid and go over there and make a new friend. Chaos tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to go raid Lunity. She's a fantastic streamer. She's a fellow Canadian, though she lives in the States, and she's a great singer. Uh, she does YouTube videos and track releases and stuff, and she's really, really cool. So we're going to go raid her and see how Uncharted's treating her and feed my growing need to play Uncharted again. So uh, we're going to go raid her, and I'll get you guys the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you're a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if you've got emotes from another streamer, if you have other Twitch emotes that you'd like to use, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Looney's channel, see what's going on with her, see how the game is going, and I will catch you again tomorrow night um let me just check the schedule i'm sure i had something filled in for tomorrow probably oh you know what tomorrow's saturday and so we're going to continue our subnautica playthrough tomorrow that's going to be fun so uh i'll hopefully see you back here tomorrow for some subnautica so have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and i'll catch you again real soon bye for now Serious damage. Whoops. Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock, Roger. Hey, I have not eaten one single donut. Excuse me, game. It seems you're not too shy yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, Nippy. You got five great balls from Blue. 